It's happening. Listen, before this episode starts, we just thought we'd make a little clip to let you know that anyone who doesn't know, we now have a Patreon. It is patreon.com forward slash another one podcast. And there's like a few different tiers on there. And we can go and get where you can sign up to us. And it helps us make this podcast. Helps us make it, helps yeah, us pay for the podcast. Helps us make it better. Helps us improve and put more content out. We've got big plans for things we want to do. Haven't we? Since. <laughs> yes, we have. We've got big plans. <laughs> we have got big yes, plans. Yes, Rob. Yes. <laughs> No, we have got big plans, and without without anyone signing to the Patreon, this will die. Yeah, this um, will go away eventually because if we can't make it work financially, we can't keep doing it, can we? No, we can't just keep throwing. Fucking no, and we've got Aftermill to buy, and that fucking costs. We've got above. kids to pay for. Yeah. And listen, we I'll be honest. Keep this if I can't, if I can't provide, I'll leave. Yeah. So and we already know you don't want to make an orphan. We already know how this how it's going, don't we? <laughs> So we needed to be giving us something back. Yeah, please. Because we're bleeding here. Yeah. My kids are begging. My kids yeah. begging. So sign up to the Patreon, patreon.com forward slash another one podcast. That's it. There's three different tiers, loads of different prices. Pick yeah. one. Pick one. Help sign us. up. You won't even notice it going out your bank. It's a couple of no. quid. Less than a Tesco meal deal. Oh, well. <laughs> maybe more than a Tesco meal deal. You'd buy a starving just... man a meal deal, wouldn't you? Yeah, well, I'm starving. That's what we are. Look at me. Look at him. I'm Do you think star- that? Do you think this? Help! <laughs> another one. Another one. Hello, everyone. Welcome Sapping. to another one podcast <laughs> with me, Simon Wozniak, Rob Thomas, and a returning guest, second appearance. Yeah, yeah, second appearance. Aaron Wood. It's not the first time you're in, uh, yeah. you're in your gruns again. He's, 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 <laughs> every time Aaron's on the pod, I've yeah, had yeah, a you've heavy, had heavy, heavy night. Heavy <laughs> That's uh, just every Monday yeah, now, though. Yeah. Yeah. And, I can't uh, remember the last time you've done a pod in jeans. Uh, and uh, <laughs> jo- Joining us is a, a debutante. Who's no, no stranger yeah. to this studio, Mr. Danny Davis? How are we all doing? Thanks Sam for having Erling Daniel. Harland of the comedy world. <laughs> I think I'll take that. Lad. I'm just not He's on come the same from nowhere and he's an absolute beast I'm on that. On the same towers, I'm like, that's the only yeah. fucking one. One K followers that. a day on that WhatsApp and podcast. Uh, well, insane. What? What can I say? You're paying yeah. for them. Oh, you must be paying well, for them. Listen, the amount of the amount of comments. Gary's and doing it on the side. He's paying for it. Sweet, listen, the amount of fucking comments and messages we had. We literally had someone. There's a lad. I'm not gonna name him, but um, do it. Push do it. Uh, well, do I'm not gonna it. name him, but he, he <laughs> used to have a podcast called the What's Happening Podcast. So do you do yeah, yeah. Being like young and hip, and we've. Kept the H, but replaced the G <laughs> on the happening with an apostrophe. Ah. G with you to show, hey, to show, the, to show the kids that were like we're cool. Yeah, we we apostrophize words. Show the kids. Know, How old are you? I know. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm 24. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Show um, the kids. You reckon? Yeah, yeah. Show the youth. <laughs> show yeah. yourself. Um, <laughs> not gonna be long with you or the youth anymore. Shut oh, up, lads. I'll, I'll, I'll be young forever. Um, <laughs> I get on that adrenaline chrome soon. Me, I'll, I'll stay young. <laughs> but um, but yeah. So like, and so every now and again, he'll he'll start leaving comments. Um. On on our on our like YouTube videos or Instagram, and it's always like it was when we had the big shoot up in like followers. Yeah, he made the an big account. shoot up made it sound like you got vicious of him <laughs> <laughs> when we met him in Crocky Park. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but but it, that's gone. Um, but yeah, self bar. But fucking <laughs> game over. <laughs> but yeah, we started getting messages off an off an account. Um, and it and it was called. Like buy YouTube views with loads of emojis after it, and they were commenting on the YouTube videos, smashing it, boys. And I, we were like, "Who the fuck's that?" And then it was the same kid who also made an account called buy Instagram followers, and then started commenting on all the shit. And then all the lads were like, "Oh shit!" And I was like, "Think about this." I was like, "These these these accounts who are letting you like buy followers or or like buy subscribers, they're not gonna start commenting on your shit." <laughs> and be like, "You got them from us? They're not gonna crash it up like that." Right. It's weird as fuck. But, um, have you? So, do you know what Alan Finnegan? Um, I've heard the he's name. A, he's a comic, well, sort of comic on and off, but he's a Baptist minister. That's his full time job. <laughs> yeah. And he, um, yeah. he was on BGT. So they've got a podcast now, and I was I was on it last week. It's called uh, Wednesday Night at the Finnegan's because he's got a bar on his back. Okay. So he just does it from his bar. That's not a bad idea, that. It's a good well, show. Like, they woke up one night thinking they'd smashed it and they'd gone viral. A clip had gone viral because you're getting loads of notifications. New YouTube subscriber, new YouTube, new comment, new comment, new comment. Like, we've made, oh, we smashed it, we smashed we it. it. <laughs> we're going to do that well. You're going to get loads of people to the church and all stuff like that. And then when they logged into YouTube, someone had hacked into the account and was putting porn videos up. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> He's had loads of people following for the porn videos and then eventually YouTube... First t- time you've watched the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, I'll I'll say say yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you need a guess? I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> That's how, but then, 
Right, that black fella back though, you used to do it, but like, what are you going to do with the whole dick thing you had going on? So the YouTube got involved, they took took all the videos down, took the accounts off them. Then they showed them they'd been hacked and got it all back. And then when he got it all back, he, he said, that we got it all back, we had like 5,000 subscribers. I was like, Boss, sound? Nah, sound. Yeah, was like, yeah, but, none, subscribers yeah, said, <laughs> but none of them were interested in church. <laughs> so yeah. It was all about like, the Holy Spirit. Like the church, isn't so, well, it? We had a little, it was good, Like we had an hour, we had a little chat, but then, because it's a church thing. Yeah. Like they, they asked you about, like they were asking me about religion and that, so I was just having ah. a little, a little chat about it. It was nice though because it got a little bit deep and all that. So it was nice to go something a different a off track cleansed. from comedy. Feel a little bit cleansed and just that. Fucking, got some stuff off your chest. Just there with the big man, one just in case yeah, you know, just, never know what just happens. Me and the big fella. Bit of an insurance Squat, job in case. Squashing some beef. Yeah. Does he swear? <laughs> Alan does, yeah. Because he didn't swear on our pod at all. The, the, the one, the one who is, is co-host doesn't, but Alan does. Is he sitting there with his little but white collar on? Man. <laughs> no, Every no. He, swears, he goes, doesn't have a white collar, you know. And Britain, but Britain's got talent made and wear one when he went on it. He's a fraud then, isn't he? When he went on it, Britain's got talent Baptist made and wear a white collar. Though, Wait, what's, what was he doing on Britain's Got Talent? Exorcisms or something? No, it's just doing, doing a stand-up. Fuck off. Yeah, he smashed the first round and then it was it was during COVID and they made him do the live show with just, like, tellies in front of him. I remember seeing him on it. I did one of them at the Frog and Bucket. It was horrible. Yeah. Horrible. I remember seeing him on it on Britain's Got Talent and I'd been gigging for about six months, I think, at the time. And I was like, who the fuck's this? Yeah, because especially if he's, if he's from Liverpool. Yeah, you'd like. I, I surely just, have heard of this guy. Doesn't gig loads, like, yeah. but he's a nice fella. Like he's, but he's yeah. boss. Like he's a good lad. I don't. Really he asked me he's a Baptist minister. If he's a cunt, then you clear. Uh, <laughs> part of his role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I reckon I could nice. do something like Britain's Got Talent. You know. Uh, what did you do? The fuck did you say there? Have you asked you? Yeah. Oh, I had loads of times. I'm just yeah. like, <laughs> loads of times. Uh, just fucking every other week. Had it's Simon or fucking. He no, but I mean, no. Are the talent scouts asked you? Yeah. Oh no, I wouldn't. They will. They will. So the what, reason so he's the reason he's asking is it's dead common. They'll just ask every comic. They'll just type yeah, yeah, comedian to Instagram. Never fucking asked me. They'll, ju- they'll, they'll just start inboxing you. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. We've seen your stuff online. Yeah. Yeah. And we think you're perfect. I love you. I love your stuff, and you're like you haven't. You haven't. You haven't. Don't look. You've seen any of it. You wouldn't think I was good for it. I'm more. Even though I've just said I wouldn't do it. Now I'm. What did you do with the frog? Did you just say that? Um, I was just doing stand up, but it was during COVID, so it was like I did one of them. It was just the screens in front of me. Oh. Uh, was it a gong? Um, How did you do a gong off no, no one audience? No, it was... Do you do comedy stuff on Thursday night or something? No, nah, no, because me and the frog and bucket don't get along. <laughs> um, Why? I've told this story so many I've times. I've never heard You know, that's his agent as well. Who? Go on. Who's his yeah. agent? The frog. Is your agent? Well, sort of, yeah. Uh, right, so basically, this was... I don't know. The only time, to, just to cut you off, the only time I get email responses from Jess is to go that you're free. <laughs> it's to tell me that you're free. I'll I'm email like, oh, can, free, I get a, can I get a 10? Can I'm I get a 10? Free. I want to get seen again. And she's like, no, but was he's free? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For the love of God, give him that gig, Aaron. <laughs> no, yeah, I'd, I'd done him. I think it was about... Might have been the end of last year, beginning of this year. Yeah. Um, and they only banned me for six months. My band was he up in June. You banned you? He banned me for six months. The band Why? was up in June, but I've not been back since out of principle. Okay. So basically, right, I... Like, like, oh. so, right, so I've what, not been banned, and I still don't get booked by him. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking horrible. No, like, so, like, when I'm trying to come up with new material, yeah. like, I don't try and write shit that's dead like, fast and punchy. I focus a lot on trying to write, like quite drawn out bits and I, I try to go for the big payoff at the end yeah that's the angle i'm trying to go with yeah so i done a joke about foreshadowing for this story that's what he's doing, <laughs> yeah, this is what I'm doing. it comes it's a natural gift um, <laughs> so i done this joke about ethiopian babies dying of malaria yeah right and it was You're a fucking really, hack like, well, yeah, but I was, I'd, I'd been in comedy like six months at the yeah. time and I was trying to be like the, like, oh, isn't he offensive? That's right. what I was trying to do. trying to be edgy. Yeah, yeah. That, like, at the time, like, I was just, like, like, I, like, I was big into, like, Anthony Jess and, like, and that. Yeah, Still yeah. am, like, yeah. but I was trying to write the got same type of shit. a look of him if you shave, you got the haircut, uh, He's got a look of me, Stuck I'd a say. leather jacket. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's his jacket. That's his jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and then, and then, like, and the thing is, well, I got through the whole five He's minutes to beat the frog. Yeah. Got through the whole five minutes. The audience Waiting loved for that it. one payoff. Yeah, the audience, <laughs> the audience loved it. Black and white folk alike. We're all a big, we're all a big fan of this bit. That's not good that you've got to keep that in the story. Yeah, because um, yeah, the Beat the Fog's just a black audience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the whitest yeah, comedy yeah. cover that as well. Uh, but no, yeah, like, like, like it got a good response. There was nobody who didn't like it. Like, I didn't get anybody like, like heckling. Or there was no yeah. one who come over to me in the interval or after the show who wasn't happy with it. It got a Scared good, of you, that's it, why. Yeah, that's it. Well, <laughs> uh, Go it, it, it got a good response, and then the next day, 
I get an email off them um, saying I was banned for, for, for six months for racist material. <gasps> and I was thinking, <coughs> not a man I'd done yeah. in my set was racist. What was the joke? Right. I'm not going to do the whole bit, but... Do the whole bit. No. Uh, to be fair, <laughs> no, you no, said no, an hour no. and a half. sat here for four minutes in silence, <laughs> yeah, yeah, mate. That's what I mean. Get banned from YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Get banned, banned from, from the studio. studio. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to find a new studio. Yeah. But, um, but no, yeah, so fucking... It was basically... It was about... I was going to my... Uh, not not true, by the way. Obviously, because a baby dies in this story. And, I, and in the story, yeah, I was in happens. Manchester. Mm. Um, so yeah, babies very rarely die. Um, but when they do, it's <laughs> not, not our <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> 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 when they do, they're Ethiopian. No, but, yeah. but right, so... <laughs> I, I, got, I, get, so I get into Manchester early. I get into Manchester. And, and, right. and, and I'm looking for somewhere to go for somewhere to eat. Right. What's this got to do with the joke? Right, so no, I'm telling you, <laughs> this is the bit. Right. This is the bit. Um... So that, that's where I debuted it at the, at the Frog and Bucket. I was like, they relate to this, it's Manchester. So I was like, I was doing a gig here the other week um, and I had to get the earlier train because the one I was meant to be getting was cancelled. So I had like an hour and a half time to kill. I was looking for something to go for somewhere to eat. Um, you do like a long-winded story. <laughs> Just I'm all right with this, I'm all right with this. Let me get to the end of the story. This story will be four minutes shorter. And then, so, so anyway, so so I get to, I've been looking around for somewhere to eat. Didn't fancy a Marquis or a Nando, so I, and then I go down a side street. A lot of his stories are him justifying why it's taking so long. <laughs> That's what it is. This is the reason you're liking this story. It's because it's cutting out your fucking innate yeah, questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 AD, he'd be here going, so why is it here? What would you have got? If he did fancy a Marquis, what would you have got? This hypothetical story, what was the weather like? No, so anyway, I found this. What was you wearing? I found an Ethiopian street food restaurant yeah and it goes in and as soon as it sits down a baby starts crying an ethiopian baby starts crying this little baby in the corner right. sitting with its ma and i'm waiting an half an hour for the food kids still right. crying I'm waiting an hour kids still crying and i go on how long i'm waiting yeah. and then i can fucking finally the food gets to be table this kid's being crying the whole time and as i see him leaving the kitchen this baby in the fucking corner it's died of malaria and it ain't even that good of a joke but it wasn't racist either. You don't say. <laughs> but, yeah, but, it won't, but it wasn't racist either. So then I had How did you know the baby was Ethiopian? Don't say who put me in that corner. I'm just saying, how did you know that baby was Ethiopian? Okay, I didn't. Why else would it be crying? <laughs> <laughs> I could just what? tell by the level of sadness. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was counting the flies, that's how you get them. <laughs> Oh, I thought he was going to sit there for the hour and a half. Let us, go, <laughs> let us, let us leave the story with him. <laughs> but yeah, so when he made the email the next day and they were like, look, we're banning you for six months for like yeah. for racist material. Um, and I was like, like, here's my number. I was like, give me a ring. Because I actually, like, rather than just going, all right, sad. I was like, I actually want to sign. Meet me Crocky Park. No, it's my fucking hammer now. Meet me at that street food store. <laughs> <laughs> it's right there, the baby's no, still crying. Listen, <laughs> I'll tell them that joke. And if they, if they <laughs> sound with it, you've got to let me carry on gigging. But fucking, but so I said, I said, I was like, look, who's favourite ring me? I was like, because I, like, I wasn't just going to go, all right, sad. I was like, yeah. I actually want to try and discuss this with you. I was like, because like, I, I personally don't think that joke is racist. But she rang me, and I was like, so I said to her, I was like, okay, do me a favour. <laughs> Explain me a favor. to me why and where that joke was racist. And she was yeah. like, because well, you were joking about poverty in Ethiopia. And then she literally said, poverty is more of a black struggle. And I was like, what, you've just said racist? <laughs> I was like, you've just been racist. And then that, they didn't invite me back for six months. Yeah, you <laughs> don't say. Haven't since. <laughs> I don't think they will now. No, I'm not sure they will anyway. <laughs> if um, I'm Wazzy's agent, I'll probably watch this. Yeah. Six, six months. <laughs> she won't watch this. No, she, watch <laughs> <it>. no. <laughs> She's, she wants to drop me, mate. <laughs> but yeah, no, like, like, I'd like to go back and gig there, to be honest. And and like, like I'd go there and then just be racist and be like, see, that that was a racist. And I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, that'd be a bold move. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but no, I'd actually just like, get like a clap off a racist joke and go, that was fucking racist, <laughs> yeah. you cunt. And then leave. Yeah. But yeah, no, I'd actually like, like, like it's a good, cl- it's a good comedy club. Like, I, I liked it yeah. there back in the day. Um, <laughs> back in my how long day. have you been going? Um, not quite eighteen months, like fourteen, fifteen months, something right. like that. So half oh, so your career pandemic has been banned from one of the, club, the clubs. Rich, the you're a pandemic so, comic. So I, I was saying to Adam before we came in here, because Bob had this outside and fucking like minus four degrees. You knew, and you knew it was like right, 17 hours. Um, oh, can I do on a five and a field to put a bit of fucking heating on? <laughs> but fucking... Sit in the car with heating on with you. It's my car. I'm not involved in this. But anyway, yeah. So I did like three gigs before lockdown. Like my very first gig was Beat the Frog. And then I did two other gigs. I can't. I've done one in the in the comedy store in Manchester, and then 
Um, and I told them I had 10 minutes of material and I didn't, <laughs> and I did like four minutes of fuck You got off. an open spot? <laughs> Um, you didn't have to do the gong it, to get a 10 there? It might have been it on a Sunday be. with Toby Addict. Sort of new material, uh, was it? I can't, right. I, I, I can't remember, to be fair. I just, I just went on. Sunday? Yeah, I yeah, think so. Yeah. Um, and, then, and then, yeah, and then I did another gig in like a pub in, 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 back in Liverpool somewhere. And then, locked down it. So then I didn't gig then for like another 18 months. Right. So when did you start your pod? Um, the very first one released on my mum's birthday last year, 24th of September. Was when the first episode right. released, twenty twenty one. As it like, because I was thinking this about new comics, and this isn't an insult to you, by the way. Are you not worried this isn't now an that you're? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? If it's, it's, if it's an insult, go <laughs> fuck yourself. What are you gonna do? <laughs> it feels <laughs> like <laughs> it feels. <laughs> 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 It feels like early WWE, this. Yeah. It's free fucking rival podcast. <laughs> the big show picking on fucking <laughs> Jeff Hardy. <laughs> 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 the fucking Fick Flair yeah. over here. <laughs> as you know, as you know, the longer you do comedy, yeah. the better you'll get. Yeah. Not oh, are you Woody? <laughs> yeah. 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 Some some people excluded from this. Um, Name him right now. Are you Name Woody? Him. Simon wasn't like, are you Woody? <laughs> <laughs> that you're building an audience when you're shite. Um, and are they going to stick with you for how good you could be in 10 years? No, because I don't think I Have am you put any on. thought into it? Yeah, that, that, that was something I was worried about. I'm not saying you are shite now, but oh, I'm no, saying... Of course. Compared to how <laughs> you'll be in 10 years, you shite. Get what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't... Compare yourself to you in 10 years, you shit. Uh, I'll be better looking in 10 years. I hope so. Oh, <laughs> I. What um, makes you think that? Well, I'm already, I'm already unbelievable now, and men seem to, <laughs> men seem to get better with age. Um, so I'm just thinking, like, yeah. I've not even began to peak. Tell that to me, bit. No. I have a 32-inch waist and a fringe, me. But not only this. <laughs> it doesn't work like that for all of us. Just button this phone call. It's fucking... It's yeah. ITV again. Yeah. Um, but, oh, yeah. Um, I, I did at first. I was, I was... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is this guy's just like... Yeah, yeah. yeah. but, um, but, no, yeah. He just needs his phone on. That's what it is. Just takes Jess ears and he's like... <laughs> this thing, we've got an Ethiopian representative <laughs> coming in <now. laughs> The fucking representative of a uni yeah. chef outside. Like, he's just cancelled. Uni But, no, yeah. I did worry about that at first. Um, but we've been quite fortunate where... The audience for the podcast has sort of has, has accumulated faster than the audience for my stand up career yeah. personally, which is bound to do anyway. Right. Because the podcast, like online shit grows faster yeah. now. So the podcast, unless we do a live podcast, so people are happy to separate the two sort of yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, like don't get me wrong. Like, 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 I. So have you got people turn up to gigs because you the podcast? Yeah, like, 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 I, I. Most places I do a gig now, there'll be at least a couple of people who watch the podcast. And if it's at right. hot water, there's, there's usually like quite a few people who watch the podcast. Yeah. But like, it's people. People seem to be quite patient with it anyway. Like, yeah. like, like do I, you I, talk I about know. gigs that on the pod. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Why would the building an audience online be bad for them? No, because it, let's say no. Because my my thinking like is my thinking is if he gets if he gets, if he gets in ten years' yeah. time when he's like. Ready to like really monetize an audience yeah. with a tour and online show. So if he's had say five thousand people or, or, or people come to him and then been disappointed and then not gone back to his show, stand up wise, it's hard to then get them people back out to I see him again. I did worry about that at first. I did like, genuinely. Then it is like you are right. Adam Adam Rowe said to me because he was said to us how's the pod going a couple of months back, and I said, yeah, it's going all right. It's slow, but we expect yeah. to die, and it's going quicker than we expected and stuff. But it's you know it's yeah. doing all right. Um, and he said you want it to be slow, yeah, because if you blow up and before you know it, you've got fucking fifty thousand listeners a week, yeah, mm. they're going to be pushing for you to do an hour. And he went, do we even review? You think you could do an hour? And I said, not yet. Yeah. And he went, exactly. They're going to want you to tour. And you will tour because you've got people begging for it. Yeah, and you, you want to monetize shite. it because yeah. you don't know when you'll get we're, the chance again. Yeah, exactly. But it's going to be shite. So the longer it yeah. takes, the better you'll get as an act, and then That's you'll be able to true. capitalize on it more. <coughs> really? it's same with what you were saying about Britain's Got Talent before. Some some acts go on it when they've been gigging a year. They've got mm. five minutes. They do yeah. that five minutes. Yeah. They yeah. do well on it because it's a good five, and then they've got nothing else. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas Deliso did well because he's got fucking hours and material, and he was able to. He was ready to go once yeah. once he got the. the we're quite forged. It always because there's four of us on it. There's me, Gary, and then there's Bobby and Matty as well. Yeah. Because Gary also does stand up. If it ever got to that point where people were like really wanting an hour from us, yeah. we could very easily split it half each. Half an hour each. Yeah. And then that way there's more of a chance of more people coming there. To be people who are maybe more so a fan of Gary 
and yeah, it, you yeah. might more so be a fan of me, and but then there's more of a chance if of you just to come told in. them on your podcast that I'm going to be shit for the next six or seven years, and then say this is what happens in comedy. You don't even have to be patient. Shit. You say, people I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be yeah. as good as I'm going to be in ten be, years because we talk. Because yeah, what, 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 what I mean is, you don't want people, you know, people turning up and then expecting to be. Oh no, I I was I was really worried about that at first, but like because we because we speak about comedy quite a lot on it anyway. The people who watch it know. Me and Gary have only been going not even between the between the two of us three years. Yeah. So 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 they're well aware of that. So I think at the minute people mm. who are coming to the gigs, they're more so coming just because they like us more. So as they think we're gonna. Well, that's sound then, which, 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 which is quite good because they're willing to grow with you. It's 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 good because like, the amount you amount new action that you see doing, you think. What? Oh, you just this isn't gonna go well for you. Yeah. So mm. Not even in a horrible way, but it's just like you're not ready for what this could bring. I I, did, I did. I worried about it, and then especially because like because. We've built a good following on the podcast at the minute, but it happened mm. really quick. Like it, like it went from being all right to being yeah. really good in like not even a month. Yeah, we were like, yeah. shit. Oh, the like, Ethiopian like, jokes in it. That's it. and and he still won't have me back at the vlogging yeah. bucket. But like, but yeah, no, it 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 like we seem to have quite a patience. Should ask Jess how much to hire just the venue and then hire the venue, sell it out, and, and just be like, not I can't even show up. It's not even show up. No, just like just just sell it out and then be like, come on, I can't be raced with all these people like me. And then when Jess, <laughs> Jess going like that, right? No, and there's none of them here. So. Uh, but I, I, I'd love to go back to the vlogging bucket, Jess. Um, <laughs> but I just Clip don't. It. Yeah, I don't know. Though, it's like, I, I think I'd have to. I wouldn't worry about it. Mate. There's plenty of other clubs. It'll it'll come around again. Well, that's how that's how it works. I'd take the thirty k now. Maybe I'm just blinkered. <laughs> like if, you had th- if I had thirty thousand people listening or whatever the following is, yeah, at two years into my, I mean, it w- I mean, there's no way I would even be in that position. <clears throat> like if they saw me, I, th- I don't know. I I think that sound. I think I'm not that, saying it's not. I'm just saying what you, what, like, what you think about it. In the I think the it. main worry isn't like because we've got the to the point where not... we're on the circuit trying to get off the circuit mm. to earn more money. Mm. It's like they might they they they're in a position where they might never even hit the, hit the circuit. Might not ever need to. Mm. Would you rather just you you you're an actor, aren't you? You're more of an actor guy. No, I, I did acting for years, but I only ever did acting because I, like, I wanted to be a stand-up comic since I was like eight, and my dad showed me Lee Evans, and then <laughs> because I was too young to do stand-up comedy, I was like the closest thing I can get to that acting. Yeah, if I'm on a theatre. Lee Evans has got a fire bit about an Ethiopian baby. Dad, have you seen it? <laughs> I haven't, but yeah, I feel like I feel like I've been robbed by an idol. <laughs> but um, but no, yeah, like so I did act them for years. Frog like, won't book him either. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Yeah. can't get on the frog, Lee Evans. No. <laughs> but fucking, we are we are strikingly similar, me and Lee. Um, but no, yeah, like like so I did, I was on I was on stage on theatres to like fucking three, four, five thousand people when I was like twelve. Mm-hmm. So like because you want to be a comic, you? yeah, yeah. But like, so like, like I sort of I didn't, I never really lost sight. I wanted to be a comedian, but when I was like between the ages of like ten to like yeah. seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, I was always I was too young to really have a proper go at it anyway. Right. Like, I could have started when I was eighteen, but I know like I didn't start comedy if we're counting before lockdown till I was like twenty one, twenty two. But I know if I had started trying to go in the clubs now when I was eighteen, I wouldn't still be doing it now. See, I'm the opposite. I wish it. I knew what I wanted. I knew what I wanted to do it when I was thirteen. Fourteen, and I wish I'd gone and done it then. You fucking multi million. I'd be retired now. I'd be, retired. <laughs> I'd be a millionaire, retired. I'd be fucking great. You'd be in like Hollywood shape. Oh, I'd just be in LA, just with some fifth fucking supermodel, just like oh. Oh, you'd be great. the acts that we were referring to before when you said. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh, maybe you go too long and never get good. You'd be that yeah. guy. No, no, yeah. no. Jace, I'm, Jace, I'm can I just come in and sit at the back of the room? And go. <laughs> you never guess how, how long he's been going. <laughs> <laughs> how long? Nineteen years. <laughs> how old is he? Twenty-four. <laughs> he's twenty-four. No. Yeah. I I know in my he's head. He just said he celebrated his 30th. <laughs> <laughs> How can he be 19 years? Trust me, lad. I know in my I'll head. I'll, I'll get them laughs. <laughs> I'll have broke, start at 14. I'll have broke America by 23. Oh, what, I'll fucking, just be a fucking million. I'll be cock out on LA Beach. Just, just people filming me going, fucking stay to him. Go, yeah, he's arsed. Mm. Is that the dream? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> is that the dream? That's why I can't get famous you, now. Because like, you be the, look give it, the give it, state of him, guy. Nine more years on the circuit. And let's see what your <laughs> dream is, Danny. Uh, I, I don't even know. I'm just, I'm just intrigued to find yeah. out. My dream now, Danny, is to have plenty of money, but not be famous enough that I can still piss myself in Benidorm. That's what my dream is now. That's my career goal. That's goals. an attainable dream, no? Exactly. Because like that. yeah. that's don't what know. happens like, to no, you, Danny. Because I can. No, you know what it is. Because it's not necessarily that I can picture you being a millionaire, but I can definitely <laughs> picture yourself piss pissing yourself in bed up. <laughs> There's okay. pictures of it. You, <laughs> yeah, do, you don't it need is. to. Yeah. It's definitely attainable. <laughs> but no, yeah, like, I'm just fucking... Like, 
we're just intrigued to see sort of like like how far can we take it? Yeah. The other two don't want to do it, do they? So, the <coughs> no, so there's you and Gary, isn't there? And then yeah. there's the, the what are they called M- Bobby Bo- and Matty. Bobby and Matty. And so they, they are they DJs. So Bobby's a DJ. Matty's not. Um, he just likes the music. I what, think. Does, what does Matty do? Um, he's a salesman. But like, is it like right. is but like all like sort of combined? No, the, the like aside from the comedy, the goal is to sort of through like through sponsorships and like Patreon and any little bit of money we yeah. can put in from YouTube is to get to a point where even if we can make minimum wage each a month, yeah, yeah, off the podcast, yeah, to go like we haven't got to work now, so we can focus on doing that and then yeah. Like, so Ma- Matty's got the shared goal and sort of thing because I yeah. had the podcast with my mates at one point, yeah, and. Because they have got no sort of career progression in it. Mm. They were just doing it as a hobby. Yeah. It's just dead hard to get them no, to stay well, committed. The, that's you know what I mean. mean. Like, like, when obviously Bobby and Matty came onto it, like, we were dead clear from the get go. Like, we're not just doing it to take the piss and just have yeah. it. Like, we, 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 if we're going to do it, because, like, the thing is, as well, especially, especially being like, be, being a young lad in Liverpool as well, if you do something like that and then. Yeah. You fall flat on your ass. You look like yeah. a belly. Hey, you're, not quit. you're not living that bad. You know quit, what yeah. I mean. You've support as the pool is, it can be the other way as well. You, yeah, you've yeah. either got to run yourself into the ground or yeah. smash it. That shit podcast you failed. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be them ones. That's it. Head off yeah. the podcast. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you're not There's that meme. And that. What you want to do is that you want to release them. Sl- you slowly release, push the release dates back. They get more and more sporadic, <laughs> and hopefully you can you can be tapped out within a year and no yeah, one realizes. But do it. It, fade it. <laughs> they were a every every four years when, when one of us yeah. had a family member die or something. <laughs> <laughs> my mum, we just got a picture of them on the telly there behind us. But yeah, no, it's it's interesting. We're just gonna see what happens. It's good quality. Did you? And when did you decide you wanted to do stand up? Uh, I first started when I was like twenty one, and I wanted to do it from being like fucking sixteen, seventeen, something like, probably earlier than that. It's a bit to be more honest. acceptable. Yeah, I do wish 16, it's tough in it because like what you were saying before. I think I might have even mentioned this last time I was on here. Um, but I thought I was too late already, like twenty one. So ridiculous, yeah. isn't it? But like you hear of like fucking obviously Jimmy Carr ended up being like thirty six, and I know yeah. that now that you're not. It's not too yeah. late. But you hear of Sloss sixteen. Yeah, and you hear of other racks at like 14, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. Yeah, he's thirty six when he started. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. something like that. He first started. Same. Bishop I think was, Michael Bishop McIntyre was, was the same. Fuck off. He was like twenty five, twenty six, I think. Yeah. Um, but I remember thinking that I'm too late, and I do think now if I'd have started when I was seventeen. Where would I like? Maybe I'd be touring now at twenty five. Well, that's what I'm saying. But then also, there's the flip side it. of that where I might have burnt bridges. Do you know what I mean? I might have not been fucking. Yeah. I'm a stupid I mean, kid that's got I too would, much to say in the green room. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? At eighteen. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I'm still at what a little knobhead now, people off? and I'm nearly twenty five. I was <laughs> I was a little dickhead when I was eighteen, and if I had started yeah. when I was seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, I'd be twenty four now. Like a banging on hot waters wind. They go, I'm sorry. Can't get it. Can't get it on a Tuesday when the shorts. Yeah, yeah it's, it's always better to do it to hot water than the frog, isn't it? Yeah, God forbid. I, I don't know <laughs> Nothing's changed. I want to start so young. What? I just never, it wouldn't even enter in my head until until I ate and Katie became desperate. Well, I, I knew when I wanted to, and, cause, yeah, but you, you didn't want to do was, it. Uh, uh, you still 18, don't want to do it. Uh, 18, <laughs> at no 19, point have you ever wanted to do stand-up. At 18 and 19, I was probably more of the opinion that I could maybe make a decent living as a semi-professional yeah. footballer. Did you play footy? No, oh shit. But <laughs> <laughs> that's how much I hated wanting to do it, is the fact that at 19 I thought, if I can just get fit again and then strengthen <laughs> my legs and everything, I can get to like a semi-pro level, like Conference, Conference North or yeah. something. And look There's more chance of me at 19 wanting to do that. <laughs> on a podcast with then a I got a job on. and then it became, I, I like laughing. Cause yeah, with you, it was stand-up or go back to school and you're like, it's, ah, fuck, it's stand-up. Yeah, it's stand-up or, I, I feel or kill like yourself. Admitting to yourself. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel like admitting to yourself and the people around you yeah, that you want to be a comedian is what it must have felt like coming out as gay in like the 80s, you know? Because it's like, you, you, yeah. you, you've got, well, I was, one of them, me, I was like, I'm either going to tell people and they're going to go, oh, fucking it's right, or I'm going to tell people and they're going to go, you yeah. just never I tell I t- anyone. I told everyone in school at like 13, that's what I wanted to do. See, but like, imagine, imagine okay, but who's you arguing with you? What? Who's arguing with you? Yeah, everyone's a lot of people in yeah, school. <laughs> <it's> school <yeah. laughs> He's a fucking gym <laughs> <gym-fuzzy. laughs> yeah, yeah. Proper <laughs> fucking <laughs> Big Bobby yeah, yeah. the Alpha was nowhere to be no, seen. No, 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 <laughs> I come to later. Um, <laughs> Like yeah, an Ethiopian I, child, I just, I, I just told, <laughs> I just told all my mates. Attention. I just told all my mates that I wanted to do, and then like, I just think no one took it seriously. So my mum and dad, I wanted to do it. Like, 
No, no. <laughs> even when he don't come, even when he come and see me, they're like, oh fucking. So what did you do? Did you tell everyone or did you keep it silent? Um, well, nah, like, 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 like you become like, an actor instead, didn't he? Right. Like, like, I think if you're in the acting world, though, surely you were more. It's like the, the progression into being a stand up is a bit like, oh yeah, whatever, we'll accept that. Mm, d- well, not really because. Like, obviously, I know, obviously, doing comedy, you bump into a lot of people's <coughs> egos. Were your parents supportive of you being acting? The, my mum and dad have been supportive of me doing it, like, anything, really. My, my dad was dead support. I was dead shocked, because like, I, I didn't think he'd be. I, yeah. When I told him, I'm, le- I'm, I'm not going back to uni, I'm just, I'm just going to do stand-up and work on the cabs. And he was like, oh, you know, you're a grown man, now do what you want. I was a bit like, fucking hell, you're going to threaten to back yeah. me. <laughs> well, my, my, my half out of all people, he's like, like, like I couldn't fucking, because like, I, I don't drive me, I'm a, I'm a bit of a fucking mess. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm nearly 25, and like, if I can afford a weekly pass on the train on a Monday, I'm like, it's going to be a good week, this. And like, there's been times where like, I've been... Got learn to drive, Yeah, then. no, no, there's been, but there's been times where I've... Nearly had to cancel gigs because it's like in like, sh- like Sheffield or somewhere. Yeah, the train's being cancelled, and then last minute he's being like, Yeah, I'll get on the car, I'll go straight down. <sighs> dad, that's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. I, me off, like. him. yeah. I don't know my what? dad. What you don't know your dad? <laughs> <laughs> ah, let's speak about that then. <laughs> Might be Danny's dad. <laughs> <laughs> it could be, yeah. <laughs> what, what, you no, no, never met no. him. Does your man know who it is? I've met him a couple of times. Like, yeah, she knows who it is. Yeah, it could be one of fucking hundreds. Yeah. Like, just yeah. 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 He's just paid someone and gone, will you just do it? Yeah. 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 Dude, he's going to give you the card, yeah. smile, yeah. and say thank you. Give him a hug, and then just I say sorry. Suck your dick yeah. or something. Just say sorry. Just come on. <laughs> so, what's the story there? Then did he get off before you were born? Or he yeah, yeah, yeah. Kid, he just... yeah, yeah, yeah. He was heavy, man. Yeah, before you were born? Yeah, like... yeah. He had like another family and everything, yeah. Did he? He got the heavy, mate. Yeah. And then he got. He touched me in lockdown because he was bored. Um, <laughs> he was bored. And, uh, <laughs> you and Jim Allen this then, innit? Yeah. You are. And that you was what he thought James was going to be entertaining was getting in touch with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I've probably got, we all, listen, we all had parts of lockdown where we got a bit emotional. <laughs> Almost had a breakdown. Just yeah, but I never tried to rekindle a family. <laughs> because you never hadn't had a family, that's what yeah, I was saying. Yeah, if you'd had kids, you'd probably try I know there was time. I might have a kid somewhere. I don't know if I've got a kid somewhere or not. So how old was he when you went? How old were you when he got off? Um, how old was I? Yeah. I, I wasn't born yet. He oh, born. he right. thought he so got, did your ma, got off. Did your ma know he had another family? She, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. mad girl. <laughs> only, one, only one person to blame there. Mad girl. You know? <laughs> yeah, you play with fire, doing, you're going to get uh, burnt. I've started doing stand-up about it. Right. Yeah, you should yeah. do. Yeah, because I was conceived in the back of a Ford Explorer. <laughs> Where, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That can't be where that can't be where your 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 existence. Oh, you should have been a girl it. and called Dora. <laughs> 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 that's why he got off. They went to scan it's a boy fucking uh, well, let's if leave it. Call, then, sorry, yeah, if I can't call it Dora the Explorer, I'm, like, I'm not having this. It was all for nothing. <laughs> I've driven me marriage for nothing. Right, okay. So I, is he still married to the woman that he, he was cheating on? No, and that's why he got in touch with me in lockdown. Ah, it ended about sad. three months earlier and he got in touch with me afterwards and he's got like two other kids and that. And what did you uh, say to him when he got in touch? Um, I was just like, um, sounds, yeah, yeah, no worries. And I was starting a new job the next day. How'd the end touch? Um, Facebook. So this is what's mad, right? He's got so no class, that man. Has yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not even, a, not even a letter. Yeah, you yeah, just yeah. Write a I'd letter. go Facebook. How else? I'd go. For, I wouldn't go Facebook. No, you couldn't be Facebook. <laughs> I'd have to like. I couldn't be Facebook. You know. <laughs> I mean, what else is it going to be? Yeah, I will, yeah if but if he knows your man, he must, he, he must that, know enough. Doesn't mean. really know that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'd go Facebook. Fuck nah, you. final answer. Lock it in, Chris. I think I'd have, to, <laughs> I'd have to be in person. I think. Yeah. Phone yeah. a friend. Go on. Yeah. You'd so he, he dropped me a message uh, and he found me because yeah, with that, it's making an echo on the mic. Oh, sorry, mate. All right. Um, so he got in touch with me because. So my sur- my family's Irish. Yeah. And my surname, I had a different surname to what I've got now. Right. But it was Balf. Right. B-A-L-F-E. Awful. Horrible surname. Horrible either. surname. What that? It, sounds like, it sounds like, do you know, do you know when, like, when you're really hydrated and you do a proper moist beer, but it's not, it doesn't go, it goes, Balf. <laughs> so, it sounds like. so I had gimps like him all the way through school, and I was oh, like, yeah. I'm not going to build an audience. Gimps yeah. like him. <laughs> I'm not well, you have build... just bullied him for not, I'm like, 25 now, come on, grow up, Danny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's always like, oh, before, yeah. I couldn't have done stand-up when I was 18, I was a dickhead, and he's still yeah. acting. Like I said that was still a dickhead, um, but I was way yeah. when I was 18. <laughs> oh, yeah, what do you think of my outfit, by the way, quickly? Oh, sorry, forget it. Go on, this story's more important. <laughs> yeah, this is a matter of Fucking day 20 went over here. <laughs> yeah, I got it, yeah. Just um, his arse yeah. off here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you yeah. like the jacket? It's yeah. new. Hey, sorry. <laughs> Do you like so the daddy's new? I had a different yeah. surname, and when I started stand-up, I thought I'll change it. Yeah. And the only logical one was his surname. 
because it's easy. Wow. It's wood. I just thought, I'll just go with that. Well, I can't just pluck oh, another wow. name out of my ass. Do you know what I mean? No, you, just like, go with that. Your man's maiden name or something? No, because that's Irish too. So it's, it's all, she wants it's to all get away the from the Irish. Same. Well, it's it just no one can pronounce it. No one can spell it. I'm not right. building a fucking fan base. Like you look at some of these acts and like fucking George Zacharopoulos, for instance, Greek <laughs> comedian on Instagram. And yeah. you're like, well, yeah. I'm not having that follow me around. Do you know what I mean? Right. If I don't need to. Um, so I just changed it to wood and that's how he found me and was like, oh, I didn't realize you'd taken my name. I was like, don't get it twisted. Right. <laughs> it's yeah. easy to spell. It's easy to spell. Are you <laughs> I'm not about, sounding it out with every comp. Yeah. Yeah. On the, on the uh, no, I've changed it all. Oh, you've yeah, got yeah, full, full everything. Wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Full wood. Yeah, full wood. Yeah. Full wood. Big wood. Big wood. Big full wood. So you change on everything now? Yeah, yeah. Right. So, so what was so what was he like when he got on Twisters? Oh, oh, he just said like fucking. Oh, um, we should get in contact. And then I was starting a new job the next day because I was like, this is a bit fucking mad. And he sort yeah. of like explained himself in like a really roundabout way. He rang me. Um, and then how do the, how do you explain that? Sort of I think thing? we need to let him talk. I'm conscious. All right. <laughs> I can already see the comments going. Will them two shut the fuck up? <laughs> Stop doing that. <laughs> Sorry, mate. My bad. I'll put it on there. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm doing it hard. Interrupt the fuck up. Yeah, um, no, sorry. I was trying to get so more of a major show. I was right starting here. a new job. What was his day? first words? Huh? What was his first words to you? <laughs> he should be like, he don't know mine, so why should yeah, I know his? Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, nice. Uh, thanks, mate. Appreciate yeah, it. I was going um, to be self. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. do this. Yeah, 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 you can't do that. Come on, girl. shut up. <laughs> um, he just got in touch. He just sort of messaged me out of nowhere. Just typical sort of fucking message. He's going your request you, as well? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, he sent me a friend request. Uh, no, no, yeah, I'm fucking lying to you. He sent me a friend request and That's I accepted movie, it. Really. Thinking yeah. like, he's obviously going to message. And then he didn't get in touch in like two weeks and I was like this is a bit fucking mad and I messaged him you messaged him I messaged him I was like why did you you message you ghosted me again you did (laughs) if you don't mind me asking how did you know in between the friend request and then getting in touch with him that it was your dad if you never met him I have met him I met him like three or four times like when I was younger and that right okay Um, but because he was still with you know he's the, the reason he wasn't around in the first place he couldn't there wasn't full. She, if she found out, she'd have hit the roof. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, so he didn't. She he was just, always like secret meetings. Yeah, yeah, right. for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> secret yeah, meetings yeah. with a bloke in a park. In the back <laughs> of a van. Um, does, she, does she know now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is she a right. patron? I'm, yeah. <laughs> right, I'm gonna shut up now. Come yeah. No. I, honestly, everything's absolutely fine. The reason he got in touch is because they split. Up. Um. So he gets into. I messaged him and was just like, "Why did you add me?" He sends me a long essay about how he fucked up. Yeah. And I was like, "Right, sound." Yeah, but I don't know what you want now. Do you know what I mean? Don't yeah. know where, I don't know where this goes from here. Um, and I was starting a new job the next day. And I think I put it on Facebook or some shit like that. Uh, it was that McVitie's one that I had in lockdown. Yeah, I think I was looking for a job, found one. Yeah, and then everything was sound. He said, "Let me know how you get on the first day of the job," and then I didn't. Because why the fuck would I? It's not up to yeah. me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like I've not, I'm You're not, not seen you. Build yeah, the I'm not building the bridge. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm not, I'm not bothering with that. So yeah, you just said, let me know how you get on, and I didn't. But yeah. my mum said the same thing, and I didn't let her know. But she got in touch right. and was like, how yeah. did you get on? And then he never did. And then fast forward about four or five months, um, I still had him on Facebook, but he'd never got in touch again. He'd never got in touch with me after that. <laughs> so she's gonna so, think yeah. four or five months. He goes, "I was your shift." <laughs> <laughs> she's still waiting for you. <laughs> four stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so she's still living. Broken ones home with you. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of broken homes, how are you, son? <laughs> yeah. right. what, so, four or five months. So like four or five months pass, and it's Father's Day. Yeah, and he gets tagged by his other kids in the best father ever posts. Oh, I love that. Uh, and my head fell off. Please, you know what I mean? oh, right. Lockdown was tough anyway. And then I seen him getting tagged in how much he was the greatest father. This is so beautiful. I'm so glad that you're in my life. Did, oh, did you not did you not give it give it a yeah. 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 Laugh reacting like yeah. 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 just crying yeah. 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 for the box of McVissy's biscuits into a bit. This is crumbs all over them. I'd have been a little sad face because Oh, yeah. <laughs> what oh, were you going to say? Don't be a shit house, go on. Well, I, I, I've got a mate who deleted me off Facebook and does, doesn't really speak to me anymore because every time he posted a family photo on Facebook, I kept putting sad faces on it because right. I knew he had family that he hadn't seen in months. <laughs> I wanted them to think one of them had died. Right. Because <laughs> as you do, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why would you not do that? So he that, deleted me he? on Facebook because it's like, why people keep asking me, putting sad faces on my family photos? But yeah, I just don't want one of your cousins oh, think one of your kids. Got a six months ban yeah. from going around is now. Yeah. <laughs> right, so I just um, think it's so funny you put a sad face on happy, uh, happy Father's Day and them going, who's this wood lad? 
Right, I'm not going to say anything anymore because I'm, I'm hating myself for this story because this is a good story. So, go on. <laughs> is it? So, four or five months goes by. She never falls off. So, yeah, I seen these posts and I was like, I'm I was sat in, I was sat in my, uh, so I went and li- moved in with my missus and her family during lockdown like you yeah. do. And I'm sat in her bedroom just like my head's fucking, I'm fuming. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, because it's never bothered me throughout my life. It's um, not yeah. bothered me. And then he's got in touch. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's always great when the jokes land on it. Um, <laughs> so, he's got in touch. And now I'm annoyed. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. that's what pissed me off. I was yeah. like, you've got in touch with me. Nothing's come from it. But now I've got to Why sit here and watch your about? life yeah. go by. Yeah. And he's like, fucking, I'll post a picture from a gig and he'll like it. And I'm like, hey, what's this like feigned interest? Do you know what I mean? <sighs> so that dumb me, I didn't. And I, I thought it's about like messaging him. trying to shag, isn't it? Like, <laughs> yeah. you're, you're what are you doing? Like don't be keeping me here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be yeah. keeping me your fucking arms length thinking you can come So he fucking, he never got in touch again. I seen those posts and I ended up just messaging him. And I was yeah. like, it's literally been like 85 days since you first yeah. got in touch. So and I said long this long essay. It was yeah. like, I've got to sit here and look at your fucking, you know, you're the greatest dad ever. You're, yeah. you, you know, I couldn't fit hope for any better. And I've got to sit here and look at them yeah. from these kids that don't even know I exist. Right. These are my half siblings. They don't even know I yeah. exist, but they think you're the best father Wild. ever. You can go fuck yourself. And he messaged me back and he was like, you've got way too much to say for yourself. And I just pissed Whoa. myself. He genuinely, he could have got under my skin Respect by being nice. Respect a little bit though. Respect a little bit on yeah. his name. Yeah. 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 He won't be bullied. The man's yeah. bullied. The man's got game. You know what it is? He's a fucking... You haven't got a dad, lad. Yeah. You haven't got a dad. <laughs> Gaslighting you. What are you going to do? Yeah. You need dad to pick me up. He's a fucking best dad. Your dad. That's a waste, man. <laughs> 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 yeah. Listen, lad, your mind's a slag, say, son. <laughs> Ford Explorer's got more miles than you. That'd be um, funny, him calling your dad a waste, yeah. isn't he? <laughs> I can't believe you've got too much to say for yourself. That is yes, rude. Genuinely, yeah. he would have got onto my mental. skin if he was like, oh, I'm so sorry, mate, I've just had loads yeah. on. Please, can we meet up? That would have pissed up, mate. He'd have got right under my skin. Yeah. He, he goes, oh, you've got too much to say for yourself. If you want to talk loads of shit, you can, but I'm not interested. He, he said so. I just pissed myself. I was like, That's you're fucking a fucking mental. idiot. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, it, it couldn't have said anything more perfect for me to no longer be yeah. interested. Yeah, I was That's like, you're a complete enough. and utter moron. Yeah, you're a dickhead. I've got too much to say for myself. Well, you're a fucking idiot. And I just started pissing myself. I, I put loads of laughing emojis and then we had a little back and forth uh, and then he, he rang my mum. Is he out? Did he yeah. tell your mum on you? Yeah, yeah, literally. He rang my mum was That's like, can you speak to him? Can you speak to your son? Um, yeah. And then he messaged me again trying to be all emotional and stuff. And I was like, hey, you're a fucking idiot. You know what he and is? I've still got him on Facebook, him. but he's, he's a fucking beakhead. Yeah. But you know what I mean? He's a fucking cokehead. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. And it's like when he has a come down, he fucking starts, starts like regretting it all and all stuff like that. And like, oh, listen, I'm sorry. And then when he's fucking sober, he's still got that message sending me. He's involved. He'd use it as a draft for later. I'll save it in my notes. Yeah. Oh, he, sounds like, he sounds like a beakhead. Yeah, that. he's just he's just a tool. He said to me, he was like, what if... Um, <laughs> he goes, uh, have you got any jokes about me? Because obviously if I did stand-up and stuff, he was like, oh, I'd love to come and see a show. And I was like, absolutely you know not. what you should do? You should, Why don't you, you come should... and see me? No, do you know, do you know what <laughs> come you should do? Come to a beer for you yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like a, a 10 to 15 minute, just on how much of a fucking asshole he is, and go, look, listen, I was a bit harsh on you. Maybe you're the best dad ever, and I've just never got to find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my it fault, it was my side, fault yeah, yeah. for having too much to say for myself. <laughs> I'd love you to come and you know come to one of my gigs, and then we'll go for a drink after, then spend fifteen minutes just leathering them, leathering them, yeah, yeah. leathering them, and then get a lift there in Ford Explorer, just start playing mind games, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. start trying to get in his head before the big fight, and that you know what I mean. Problem, the Gregor Aldo, I'm like, like get in his head. He's there shaking in his fucking boots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like, so his dad's not in it. Do his kids know you exist? They do now. So I said to him, I was like, uh, part of my message to him was like, these fucking people don't even know who I exist. And he's like, I could, and uh, and he said, I said to him, before you think I'm the knobhead for this message, I yeah. could have posted this co- as a comment yeah, on yeah, one yeah. of their posts. And your world should have done, you know, yeah. know what I mean? I, 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 I was like, why, why lower yourself? It's, it's thing, not because yeah. even if I was I'm not asked about something, yeah, I still want to should have posted it. Like, <laughs> even, even if there's something that doesn't bother me at all, I still want to win. Yeah, I was half annoyed at myself for sending no, the message. You got out of that at one point. Not, it's not me that, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I was no. bored in lockdown. No, I, I, I went yeah. to his, like, I don't care about stuff <laughs> yeah. like that. Yeah. And that's why I was half glad that he turned into a knobhead in the message. Mm. Because if it had gone back, this back and forth, I'd have been like, I've made a tit of myself here. Yeah. Yeah. But the fact that he went above that, I was like, yeah, yeah, so fucking. mental, just fucking. Well, yeah, this way, fucking do you know when, like, let's say 40 years, 30 years, you know, when, like, he's dying? And he's just lying in a bed of his yeah. own piss and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not going to be the kid that has to go and clean it. That's a good point, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Like the other two dickheads, you'll just be along with your McVitie's. 
I don't still work there. <laughs> <laughs> not eat biscuits anymore. There's a, there's yeah, you contact. still stay loyal, you, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're never <laughs> allowed to digest them again. Sign that. Does that, yeah. does that play on your mind a lot? So I... Like, can you ever just not think about that? Because I don't know whether yeah. if I was in that position, I'd be thinking about it every so day. So I've, I've started writing stand-up about it, and I do have jokes about it, and um, I've got about 10, 15 minutes on it, but it's not honest 10, 15 minutes. Do you know what, what you think make people, make people laugh? So yeah, so yeah. I've got a bit. I've got a joke about how, um, like I say, like what you said before. I'm not going to do the bit, but I've got a bit about how I don't have any relationship with him. But every year I go on Facebook to try and find him, but not. And then the crowd goes, sort of goes, oh, and I'm like, yeah. no, I want a connection. I just want to see how his hairline's doing. And we have like this little back <laughs> yeah. and forth. Yeah. I'm just making loads of jokes yeah. that tie into yeah. it, but I've not actually spoke about. Well, yeah, it's yeah. still quite raw though, though isn't it? Because you need to let time heal, and then you could look at it a bit different. He was might healed be... though, because he's not been really. Well, yeah, there's life, nothing so to. Uh, yeah, but no, like, but like when? He, how? When did he reach out to you? Uh, lockdown. So first lockdown. Something. Like. So you, was you, you feeling anything at that point? Like that. Yeah. Huh? Was you feeling anything at that point? No. When he got in touch. Oh yeah, it was a problem. Like, I've never. The I've fucking never been cheek of getting in touch and yeah, then yeah. going away again. I've literally never been interested at yeah. all. And then he just randomly added me, and I thought it was fucking half shit that he just never messaged me after that, and it took me to message yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that should have said, told me everything I needed to know. Do you know what I mean? Like, I say we were, yeah. we were friends on Facebook probably five or six days before I messaged him. I was, if you man. were that interested, do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, he's just been being nosy. Like what really? you're saying, you had a, a girl on Facebook and. No, you just leave so it. You just leave it for a week yeah. and then you might like the odd profile yeah, yeah. just to let it in. Oh, I'm a little bit interested. Yeah, 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 yeah. but I've got a bit at the moment. But if anything happens, yeah, to yeah, yeah. You're next. yeah. yeah. I've working. got two other kids at the minute. Yeah, but if anything happens yeah. to them, I'll yeah. be in touch. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, right. We'll throw something else on and then here we are. Oh, well, this is this outfit, you have to give me a little bit of leeway on this one because this was this. I've been troubled for the, the week, do you know what I mean? Like, so this, you, you do yeah. dress like Just someone like, that didn't have a dad, to be fair. Right. <laughs> like, no one's the battiest. You're not fucking wearing that. Yeah, you dress like you're not quite a piece. Well, so did you think I dress like you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> He's got that exact jacket in his. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I do yeah, love no, the jacket, to be fair. This would usually be paired with the, the matching hoodie. I don't think I've ever seen anyone with curly hair. What do you mean, the matching hoodie? Have you got a leather hoodie? <laughs> no, no, no this these oh, okay. would have a matching <laughs> plain hoodie. So okay. that might look a little bit more acceptable than what's going on right now. This is a, this is a bit of a show, but I do think it looks fine. But as long as you think it looks fine, then my, my opinion doesn't matter. I don't, understand, you're, you're, I don't understand what's going on here. I don't really. I, I, I don't know what backgrounds <laughs> you think I've got in fashion. No, just the embrace thing. Is it just because Danny's young and, like, you think, oh, it, it's a big if a Ketwig likes me, well, then I'll be all right? I've not got a Ketwig. Just because mm. I've got long hair doesn't mean I've got a Ketwig. It does. If you're 35. That's like saying just because you're fat, you're a paedophile. No, it's not, not all paedophiles are fat. <laughs> no, no, no. And not everyone with long hair has got a Ketwig. No. Having long hair and having a Ketwig is two vastly different hairstyles. Not when you've also got a scally accent. No, 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 no. Because a no. Ketwig, right, is where Can you just... be over there. A Ketwig. <laughs> a Ketwig is just where you let your hair Nana grow Nami. in whatever style <laughs> it was in when you last got an haircut and then you just let it grow right, into so that. so is that styled? <laughs> <laughs> so what I've done, I had to redo my part in my hair. It doesn't look... It needs washing at the minute. It doesn't look right, too great at the minute. Right. But do you know when it's all washed in its condition, then I've thrown yeah. a little hair mask on it. Bit of mousse and all that in it. Not mousse, it ruins, it, ruins, it ruins the shine on it. Does it? Yeah, it does. That's, oh. yeah, I take good care of my hair pattern today. It's behind me ears today. I'm not putting too much effort in. But you don't okay. want to washed in condition, and then if it's a, if, yeah. it, if it's a hot day and the sun could damage it, I'll throw a hair mask on yeah. it and get get a bit of a deep condition going. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I go to a hairdresser. No, these kids today oh, don't know the God. fucking born. Yeah. I'd go you were asking me what I thought. I'd go fucking no, battered for speaking like that if I was if I was 25. And how have you turned out? My God. mates the fucking leathered me for talking like that at 25. And how have you turned out? Bitter. Exactly. <laughs> My mates embrace it. I Been think this is the happy. first time I've been in a room and not been getting flack for the haircut, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. You're a barber. You're, you've I was, got, yeah, you've, yeah. you've got a fair standard barber? haircut. Huh? Was you a barber? Yeah, yeah. How long was your barber for? Seven years. But a barber look about you having your yeah. yeah, tattoos you know, and yeah. stuff. When yeah. he said it before, yeah. you, said, you said in the car before, you used to be a barber, and I can see that. Why'd you yeah. stop being a barber? Uh, stand up took over too much of my life in my boss's words and, and you he, hated being a barber he, well yeah I didn't enjoy it uh, but he let me go because if I want to do stand up I should just go and do that and I was like well hang on a fucking minute yeah. I don't earn any money yet <laughs> <laughs> and he was like it's not my problem see you but oh I yeah, thought you were off. like a I'd worked there for like five, oh, well this is it but he stopped me from renting the chair oh, and right. it was heavy, mate yeah. it was heavy yeah he was, I've worked there for like five and a half years oh, I've always two weeks to be before a I bought my house so have I you me. know a barber seems like a really cool job yeah, I've always well, thought that would be my fallback like I, I, but I was this is what I was talking about before Joe when you were a bit naive when you were like 17 I started yeah. barbering when I was 17 and I worked there for the entire time yeah. Pretty much. I had like one or two other places for like three, four weeks or whatever. And mm. then I moved to theirs and I was there five and a half years. And what happened was because he trained me up, yeah. I didn't see what any other barbershop works like. Yeah. So I didn't know that what he, all the rules that he had wasn't just synonymous with barbers. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I just accepted it. I was very green. I just accepted well, like, like, what I was. Yeah. Uh, just like if you rent your chair, yeah, you've got you... no right to tell me whether or not I can fucking uh, so like you know, get off or whatever. So I, 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 right, so you were renting a chair, but he was also telling you what hours yeah, you can yeah, work. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to be there at eight. You could leave at fucking six. And if, if I didn't do anything like that, you'd dip the reef. If I booked a day off, I've got to check with him first. And so, so it was all the... Right. <laughs> it was all so the even though you're self-employed, renting yeah, a chair. all the tax and all that sort of stuff, you saw yourself, but none yeah. of the benefits of being self-employed. So, yeah, but I just yeah. accepted that, that and it made me quite bitter because it started to do my head in. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. I'm like, I'm fucking giving you money for this chair. Why have I Why then got to get there boss, at eight yeah. and stay there till six when I've no one booked in or anything? Like, yeah. it's just fucking stupid. Um, so what was the score with, so with bookings? Was you a barber? Anyone off the street or was it always just bookings with you? We'd do bookings, but walk-ins as well if we had availability, right. so, yeah. And what comes um, with walk-ins? So, when you were in the chair, because I, I I know you've whatever gets on my chair. It's been I... at the hairdresser game for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I want well, I want to I want I might still have me four back because um, all the ball barbers are yeah, the best yeah, ones. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. Like so like uh, yeah because the other one's done his hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like so when you when you get in the chair, walk-ins, is it like just whoever's available is available? Pretty much, yeah. If you want to wait, there's no like argument of like, oh, I'll have it. As the world has developed and men can go to hair appointments now, that's more acceptable. Back in the day, you've got to go in there and get whoever's free first. And if you decide to go, they want the next one. 
Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Do you know what? Back, back when I was. Fucking puff there. Back That's when I was <laughs> still a freak. What do you care? Yeah. Nah, back when I was a freak and visited a bar. Was back you, in care, t- you care what you look like, you fucking <laughs> spanner. Get out. Yeah. Like North Korea. You go in. You back in size and shorts on top. Different Fuck type yeah. of haircuts and Nazi. Yeah. But no, I, I remember. Skinheads like, when I was a kid. That's what all the scallies had. It's different now, though, isn't it? Mm. Different right, now. Sc- skinheads, scallies yeah. are going around with fucking. Yeah, we, we, we're getting layers put in the air and that. Yeah, Scally's, that Scally's the wheel, had skinheads. You know, the bike and the wind, it's it. And we would, flows nice. We were just hard. None of us done MMA. You haven't got to worry about the skinny ones. Mm. You're just fine. Yeah. I've got to worry about the You want a skinhead for the reason, innit? You can't get hair dragged in a scrap. That just makes exactly. sense. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, but if you're a lad in the face, then you go for it and the straighteners, the hair. Anything, mate. Trust me. I Anything. know people, if they were fighting someone like hair, rag his hair and just punch his head in. Horrible. Yeah. Horrible. <laughs> It's the law of the street, Danny. Is it the law of the street? It's the Alpha 37 Gang Gang. Mr. Leather Jacket. He knows the laws of the street. Yeah, you don't yeah. get to wear that leather jacket unless yeah. you got yeah. crazy. Yeah, that's weird, man. I've like ragged a few people by the air to wear this like, jacket. Like you start off as a white jacket, you wear your way yeah. up to a black jacket. Yeah. You get a little denim, you know, not bad. <laughs> then a black denim. You, you get denim rings around your yeah. arms and that. I had a mate who had a ponytail. Someone, gra- someone grabbed it, punched his head in, and he went home, shaved it. And has, hasn't grown his hair long again once. That's proper got to him. Yeah. It's proper played on his, his head, Proper played on his, on his hairline. He's even back and battered the fella, like, but... The fact that he... Head, he's more aerodynamic that yeah, time. Yeah, that's what I watched. He's like, yeah, I've got nothing to grab now, have you, you cunt? I've got you. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, he'll slip it all the way and shit. Where's this cunt's pony gun? Fuck, fuck. Yeah. I can't do my finishing. Yeah. Yeah. The only tactic he couldn't miss out the wind there. When he would have fight that, he's come back with low kicks and everything. What's going on? Just had to grab his dick or something. Just to do the old pull. So go on, you were starting off, you went you're a frequent barber goer. Yeah, back back in the day when I when I when I, when I was a visitor of, of So do you not go now? Well, um I go like you're a once. salon man now. Because you get a treatment. Um yeah, I, mm, to be honest, I mean I still go with the barber, but I just get into it like it's like when your hair gets long, mm. the ends of it will start splitting and that and then it starts looking dead dry. So every like six weeks or so I'll just go and get like an inch cut off my hair. Right. But the, I, I went to the same barber religiously yeah, for you like got him. four or five years. Like, like, it's like, like, I'd be more loyal to that barber than I've been to some women. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I had uh, a few customers that said that. Yeah. That they're more loyal to me than they are the girlfriend. Sweet. And, and then, that's like, and his reasoning was that if he cheats on her, she's going to leave him. But if he cheats on me, he can't get another bird after that. <laughs> exactly, because then you can <laughs> fuck so, his shit up. And I was like, right. You could just not cheat on anyone. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Is that an that's option? Oh, right, that's Darren, easy. Right. Let's get fucking out. You got too much to say. I was just laughing about it on Facebook. He's just going hey, at my, him. My missus yeah. might watch this. All right. <laughs> oh, but yeah. And then there was there was one day. Um, I was starting to look a bit like, do you know when you're having a your hair cut in a few weeks and then it starts to like grow over the top of your ears? And I was like, oh, I need to get this sorted. <laughs> okay, I'm like, nah, I've not clue. So I messed up. No, I did. I used to have a little. Like, like usually, it was emo. just walk-ins. <laughs> I'd never need to book an appointment. I'd been yeah. going here for that long. He had knock appointments back half an hour to cut me here. We had a good thing going. And then I went <coughs> to walk in one day and it was busy. And I was thinking, this means nothing to me, this. Yeah. And I walked in and get me hair cut. And I walked in and I was like, hey, which chair? And he's like, ah, oh, you'll have to jump. These are all appointments. And I was like, oh, really? I was like, Sean. And then I just didn't go back. And then my hair uh-huh. got a little bit long. And I was like, right, I'm going to have to like part this down the middle now. Because I was like, it's, I've still got it part of the year. And it's growing dead long down that side and sweeping. The, I was like, I'm going to have to do And then it starts getting a bit, and then it starts going curly. And I was like, oh, Sean, I'll keep this. And then this it, story's too well rehearsed. He just wanted long hair. Just say it with your chest, man. No, it had no, nothing no, to do with your barber. He wanted hair. long hair, and that's the end no, of it. No, because it was after that lockdown, it. So then right. it, as it started growing, I had no choice. And then it started looking all right. And then I looked in the middle one day and I was like, I, I would. So I just kept it. I'd have longer if I, if I could grow it again. I, I, I prefer... I do, re- I do regret not experimenting more with me. It does keep you warm as well. You know, you, you know in the winter, because it's that long now, I can sort yeah. of like, I can suck it now, my neck and that. So when if I've got my other... Like a snooze. Yeah, if I, if I take a neck it's pillow. The, it's so the I've hot got ears for me. It's the what? Hot ears. I can't do hair on... It, it gets me. Are you autistic? Because <laughs> that sounds like you're autistic. Well, probably. Just hot ears. If it this is why ears. the frog don't buck you. Leave him alone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry, <laughs> let him have his warm ears, all right? Yeah, <laughs> his cold let, him, let, him, his cold let his ears, ears be the temperature Everyone's he wants them to be. Everyone's talking about me when I have longer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you have longer hair for a bit, did you? No, but I had it, where it, where it, where I had it longer, and it was going, and then I got fast with me. I got bigger, and then it's like, you can't have long hair. With it. I don't think you can have... Be, 
fat with longer hair because you look like you've got no you look effort. A mess, yeah. Whereas if you're skinny, it looks like the reason like, you're fat is because you so, give up. Yeah, so and that's the reason you got longer hair as well. You look at skinny boy band kids; they've got the big hair. Yeah. But then when you get fat head and everything's fat and you've got longer, it's like have some fucking up. pride in yourself, yeah, would you? Yeah, yeah. So at you least get have a nice like cut. cut. Yeah, get a crew cut. Look like you made yeah. a bit of effort. At least get a fade. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So that's my. I'm in that bit now where I'm like I'm too fat to have the the big hair, but I'm not thin enough. To have a longer, yeah. So now I'm just in this fucking bit of. <laughs> yeah, I'm in this bit of life every time. It was twelve weeks either way of going into being a big fat horrible cunt or getting in relatively okay shape, yeah. and it's stressful to live in this window of I, I, 12, 12 to sixteen weeks. Is all I need to go either way. Battle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 It's just yeah. like it's yeah. a one nil draw at the weekend. If he has a kebab, he's fucked. <laughs> just, just, yeah. just playing Sunday league. <laughs> or sorry, or or go. To try and be in Real Madrid, and it's like I'm just fucking playing for a team that's up and down between. You're just like, playing for Watford. Just you want a Watford best players? Europa League, Europa League or bottom, Watford. Or for stress, for survival, man. Isn't it? Fucking stress. That's a shame, that. Because to be fair, <laughs> to be fair, I reckon the. That sounds the kind of stress I could live with, though. I reckon there's I some people it's harder than you think. <laughs> I told you this. The some, people some people look all right when they're fat. Like, like you're not an ugly fat fella. No, but that's because I'm pretty. Like I'm pretty I wouldn't skinny go, as well. Right, I give you that. I give you I something there. No, no, I give you the yard. Yeah, don't let's take not lie. You I know said what I mean? I am pretty. Fat, I'm pretty. But I am pretty though. He's not an ugly fat fella. <laughs> <friend. Pretty> fat. <laughs> <laughs> but just like it's like there's some people. A lot of fat people have got nice faces. I'm just saying. Like, there's, some, the, 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 there's some people who can get away with being fat and then not be like yeah. repulsive to look at. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where they store the fat, maybe though. So if you're a fat guy like who doesn't store it on the face, if you're you a fat guy with better. no shoulders, you look, oh, let's just Yeah, like, I feel like, like to the be fat fair... fat comes with the thin hands, like I said on the other side. I feel like yeah, yeah, fat comes with the I feel like if you got fat, it'd still look relatively normal. No, no, he looks... He looks chubby. Yeah. I like, look, why, have you I been look fat? Blown looks up looks like one of them alien, one of them alien, no, one of them aliens from here. Okay. Like, in black. Okay. Like a Ball garden ornament really? where they wobble in the wind. Like grew off little, despicable me. Just built like Dr. Yeah. Eggman. I'm not good at being massive. No. Really? No. 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 <laughs> it's fair enough. Mm. I've always wondered this, right? Do you know, right, so, and you've got to let me explain this theory I've got. Yeah, we've got. It's like every one of your jokes. you just got to let me get there, right? Do you know, being fat, mm. I've always thought that means you've got to have a little dick. Because do you know when people get really fat and like you get your belly yeah. and then there's the little fat pouch yeah. where your pubes yeah. are? Yeah. Surely, yeah. even when you've got a boner, because that sticks off your mm -hmm. body further, mm -hmm. that envelops some of the boner. Yes. Mm. But then do you know if you like, do you know when you're on your shag and your beard? And yeah. then you've sort of give it all you've got, but then you can still do that little push and you'll somehow yeah. get an extra half inch out. Can yeah. you push through the fat pouch and get more dick yeah. in? Really? Yeah, yeah but That's he also pushes over the fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> problem is, though, it requires a lot more blood. So you've got to be really excited to give, give, give it. Like, you know, sometimes you just sort of fucking vein it in, you don't go over. And yeah. you're like, oh, yeah, I just, just want to come. Yeah. I'll just fucking do this dead hard. So lucky, quick by the way, your, your missus. So and now, lucky. Yeah, well. I'm doing She's well. Got in the life. prettiest fat man in Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right. I'm doing well. I mean, that, see, that, that's how what old I mean, are you? Though. 25. You're doing all right, but you own your own house in 25. Yeah. If your beard's rich, aren't you? No, yeah. she's genuinely not. Yeah, all right, she's got horses. Well, she's, yeah, but yeah, that's not even, let's even try. You know what I mean? Well, it's what's um, in the parents' yeah, bank account. Yeah, that's how you define it. That's literally, it. honestly, yeah. mate. It's, I, it's, I wish it was that. Right. Uh, that anyway, doing all right. <laughs> Can't yeah. afford the house now. Don't worry too much about that guy. Go on. You were saying about the Yeah, yeah. But you've got to be fucking excited for it to happen because it's a lot more blood to push through now. That's I knew I was right with that. You but know, I've been thinking about that. When you so lose why weight, but be? the best thing is when you're a fat cunt and you've had that happen. When you lose weight, and you, <laughs> fat cunt. Oh, wait, I always say that. When a you funny lose expression, why, why every fat person must be a cunt. <laughs> you're fat cunt. They can't be a fat. Yeah, knobhead. yeah. It's no. always a fat cunt. You fat knobhead's quite playful. Yeah. Like, oh, fuck off, you fat knobhead. You're a fat you cunt. You haven't even got to be fat to be called a fat. Yeah, you could be the nicest guy in the world and still be a fat cunt. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? The nicest guy you've ever met, that fat, fat cunt. That's <laughs> how it works, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, when you're a fat cunt, Skinny you lose bastard a, you and a fat cunt. You lose a bit of weight and your knob starts coming back. Oh, 
Oh, it's unbelievable. Because I, I, I thought that it You started admiring it. I started... Because, like... Do you get a boner about, just to look at? No, no. An like, ornamental no, about, boner? About a few years ago, I lost, like, five stone. An put it all back on. But when I lost it and the, and the boner was coming back, I was just fucking staring at my heart on, enjoying it. Stay. Like, just like, like fucking, where have you been, Don't put it in your fella? mouth yet, I'm still <laughs> looking. Exactly, where have you been, fella? Look at that. But, no, yeah, I didn't know whether it'd be either, like, the fat pube pouch would, like, envelop... A few it's inches. Us. You just made it in fat. It's normally, no idea. It's normally no above. I've always been built like a prisoner of war. It's all, it's, your fat pouch is above your cock, though, look. as well. So it's not coming right through it. Okay. Do you get what I mean? <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know if that would be the case, or the fat pouch would push the base of your penis. No, no, no. Forward, and your penis, you just your penis like, is under the fat pouch. <laughs> <laughs> when you get fat one day, your you penis get fat there. Right, get all the skinny kids in there. Tell the teacher all the skinny kids about having a dick when you're fat. <laughs> I feel like it. one day the you know most the fat people have dicks. Sir. Yes, they do. <laughs> You know when you get a smack head in to try and be like, don't do drugs. Look at this cup with no teeth. Laying Look off him. Look at this one, he's got no yeah. dick. Where's <laughs> his dick? <laughs> but it's that point into the telly yeah. with his PowerPoint presentation. Of that was, that was my dick ten years ago. <laughs> Switching to a picture of a fucking pad. Go, oh, this is it now. <laughs> but no, because the fat is above the dick, really. It's like so it's not that hard, but it is harder. So it looks like, you know, one of them old... I'm going to have to find a picture of this car, right? It looks like one of these... Um, <laughs> One sec. <laughs> Have so you no always day. been fat? No. Is that what you're telling us? No. I was quite skinny till I turned 16. And what happened? Athletic, 16? and then I just fucking gave up. He lost his dick. <laughs> and then when no, I, start, I, I stopped playing fussy and then part, put the weight on. Right, yeah. Started working and started fucking getting taken away. So see, like these cars. Then. Remember them Fiat's? See the way that comes <laughs> yeah, down yeah. and goes out? Yeah. That's like the fat yeah. pouch, then there's the yeah. dick. Yeah. Can I show that to the camera so you know what we're talking about? Yeah, mate, yeah. Right. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah. <laughs> that is quite that's quite real, yeah. You've got like I see but a much the... smaller bonnet. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I seen it's a thing on Facebook. <laughs> I seen a thing on Facebook, that exact car yesterday. Is and it was available? up for sale. And it was like, yeah. is this car still available? And he goes, Yeah, and he goes, I can sell it shit. <laughs> 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 it fucking kill me for like ten minutes. <laughs> I I appreciate I understand the intrigue because I'm all, I'm a, I've never slept with a fat beard. Like, well, in a long time. I'm always a bit intrigued. <laughs> in I'm, always a bit, I'm always a bit intrigued. I wonder what fat time. beards like. like um, what are their fatty pubis areas like? And then the vaginas. Like, it horrible. <laughs> okay. Horrible. <laughs> Brilliant. That's all you need to know. Fair enough. Horrible. I can imagine so. Yeah, you can get there. You can get there. <laughs> you can't, you know. You can't. Because it's like... You just don't know where you are. <laughs> it's because, like, you don't know. I'm squashed between something. That's what I mean. You, you don't know if you've actually reached the vagina or you're just shagging That's, fat, yeah. you're just shagging them weird fat lips. Do you get them little yeah. fat flaps? I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad you added more words to his joke. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what he said. I was, I was just trying to... Well, he's not even going to give us much, <laughs> much less vulgar way. I was, just less, I was just trying to put the science in it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an educated. I'm a, I like to say and break. So you always, you always look like a fucking smack rat. Fucking hell! What if you mix up a lot of fat? He had to get something in, didn't he? He had to get he something. Had to get in. something. Um, I got next. It's coming in. It's coming in. Yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 it's smack rat or like O four <laughs> Chanel runway model. Yeah, and I'm right. going with the okay. Chanel yeah. runway model. I'll accept that. Sorry, I'll take I would, yeah, ASOS. I'd, I'd say you could. You look like. I'll you know, take an ASOS. Yeah, yeah. I'll take ASOS. Yeah. No, it's right, I was you out to ASOS as well. I'm not quite interested the <laughs> with it, a short back and side. I could be on ASOS. They do bigger and larger, you know. Just to so. see. Yeah. I'll show you right now. Oh, oh, let's have a look. Yeah. What, what, right what, what are we looking at? In with a, like a normal haircut, like a you know, like <laughs> a, like a, a Love Island haircut. <laughs> right. Do you know what Island I mean? Haircut. Because like that hair, I think, is a look. But then you go, he might just look better if he was just tidied up. Have a you bit. not seen Ewan McGregor in when he's tidied up a bit? Yeah. What was you? What was the Come film? McGregor was you smackhead? Come on, um, tidied up a bit. You must. You know. uh, I don't the sequel know. last week. The sequel I'm last saying that's a look. Years, I, well. I know what you're saying. Yeah, that's a look, and it's a good look. Whatever. He's, he's got, got all two. Saints model sort of thing. <laughs> all Saints. He's, you, he's, you're paying him a lot of compliments. Yeah, I know, but then I'm. No, he's not. Though he's taking it all back by going. You don't look anything like that now. Uh, but, yeah. you could. <laughs> but you could if you lost your. His head's too thin though. What his head's too thin? Like a thin head. If you have, if you have a one at the sides or something, I would fade. Trust your head's nose too thin, and then yeah. it just carries on going. Have up. you had to do that to someone? Have you ever gone and been like, you don't want that haircut? 
you just sort of frame it in a nicer way than that. But you just got to go, I think it'll look better if, and then they're not going to ignore you. To me, and the that odd is time what, they do. Yeah. And you should go for that. That, you're... I was wrong, actually. You look, that... like you, you, you look like you smiled or something. You look like someone's put a filter on you to make your mouth bigger. But you must understand that's a, 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 um, a cleaner look. <laughs> Yeah, but it's too much upkeep. I though. think it's better. Well, this is why I, I look the way I look. <laughs> it's just too because like it's then, too hard if, if you're getting like <laughs> constant haircuts, you, you, you've got to you've got to make sure you keep on top yeah, of that. Whereas yeah. if I want to let my hair get a little bit longer and then get it cut back up to here, no yeah. one. Really this notices. is why I said about your dress sense is that like your style is quite clean cut and fresh. Like you will have clean shoes on, won't you? Generally speaking, <laughs> yeah. So therefore, <laughs> the haircut will go with a clean shoe. Most scousers have clean shoes on. Though. That could be a scouse thing. Well, like you wear like. You won't wear like a load of shit like me. Though, <laughs> I wouldn't wear that. No, no, you wouldn't wear something that's got like it's individually. Too much I'd on. wear each part half in the jacket. Individually, I'd yeah. wear you'd each wear, bit of that. You'd wear taxi bottoms that colour. Round the house. They've seen better days. Come on. It's, if I was just chilling around the house, I'd wear them. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> Right. <laughs> this has been the most backhanded compliment. It has, it has, it has. <laughs> hang on. He's talking about his trauma, but hey, your mum did get rattled. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. They've seen better days then, but you do look good in them. Right. <laughs> you all want to be nice. You your hair cut you so yeah. good, but it does suit you. Yeah. I don't want to be nice. It's just content. I'm not it? trying to be nice. I'm trying to be honest. <laughs> right. What are we going to talk about now? Oh, sorry. Have I put a, have I put a needle in the momentum? That's my bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's bringing up your dad. You mean was he aware of himself <laughs> now? <Yeah>. He's <laughs> so your haircut. Are you yeah. going to stick with this? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Probably. Just easier. Is your half a skinny? Um. No, nah, not really. He's not exactly fat, but he's not skinny. Mm. He's like, got. He's he's fifty, so he's got so a bit. By of, your logic, belly. was he was he out? Was he like you? No, me ma was always dead skinny though. Was she? Are yeah. your mum and dad still together? Yeah, yeah. So basically, uh-huh. what you've just worked out with Rob, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, I won't Fucking get too excited because what you've just worked out with Rob is that he's getting more dick in your mum than if he was fat. <laughs> Who Rob or me half, fella? <laughs> Both. You're quite strong as well. Is he? How do you know? What? What? <laughs> um, he's, he's when I fist bumped him. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> this is so your style. Do you, like that do you skinny wiry? This is weird, you know. <laughs> You're getting weird. Is that your glue in him, you know? Skinny wiry strength, though. Do you know Are you thinking of, like, strength? if I can have some young scally he likes me, then I'll be all over. Yeah. And he thinks I'm cool. Yeah. Where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> You've made this so weird. Why is it weird? Like it's that. like you're like, I feel like you want to shag me, you know? <laughs> I think it's, he does. I think he's been bullied by like me all the whole so long. He's like, yeah, but if we get, the ne- if we get him with the next generation, yeah. then fuck Rob. I need the piss as well. Give it six years. <laughs> Joe, <laughs> Joe, <laughs> Joe, Joe, what you were talking about, about with your mate that lost the fight and then cut his hair. Yeah. He's going to get sexually harassed by Simon and cut all his hair off. He's like, <laughs> he won't let me now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm safe in a green room. room. I'm <laughs> safe in a green room. I don't know, you know. I am. I reckon you've three. Have you, we ever you, been in the green room together? Um, no, actually, funnily no. enough. And I feel like now. That's because you're always at the frog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm legally not allowed to be in the green room together. Oh, <laughs> you're like after well. this podcast, that you shouldn't be, no. No. He's going to be like, I'll get you a pint, Dad. It's all right, lad. Hey, mate, he's got a podcast with 30k um, followers. So I'm from Kenny originally. Right. Like Edge Lane. And then when my mom had my little brother. They needed the next to bedroom. Yeah. So they moved to Whiston. Right. Mm. So I'm a little bit out the way now. Yeah. Don't you yeah. go, mm, you L37, you said before. He's formed me. Gang, gang. Yeah, you, no. No, there's no gang, gangs in L37. Yeah, so when you Some make a bit of money, there is. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> you make a bit of money, you move out there, you're still in the gang. That's when there's you're no gang, gang, gang there, there no. cause Wazzy got rid of him, and then he put his yellow leather jacket on. I see it, he's just You're not like, you know, like gangs that walks around, hang on. Got out of women. West Side Story. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, um, I literally want to live up in Wiston at the minute. To be, it's a little, it's not really out the way because if I want to get into town, it's a fucking 15, 20 minute train. Yeah, um, but it's 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 well, it's, it's one of them places where someone like Aaron thinks the dev phone if you go in high is a wall. Yeah, like he says to me because I'm from Bootle, oh, it must be a wall. Like, All oh, right, yeah. So I, I, I don't, don't bring me into that. this. This was an argument you had with Liam. You took the bait so well that now it's just too easy. <laughs> Nothing yeah. to do with me. Did you not, have you not seen it? No. Oh my god. <laughs> I haven't got a pair of wheelie but I have got an R fella. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've got one. I just don't know his whereabouts. You know what I mean? But 
He, uh, yeah, I've got, we, I've he got came a paper on, uh, weaving somewhere. <laughs> he, he came on <laughs> hours. And, uh, how scouse I am. <laughs> and and was um, I know they said was he? Liam said that he was a wool. And the next twenty people. minutes yeah. of right. the podcast was him trying not just to kill right. Liam. And I was just sat there, we like, this is fucking. No, amazing. do you know what though? I <laughs> just someone have to do some there. fucking heavy lifting with that podcast. I can sympathise <laughs> there because I've had it off like all my mates are from like West Derby, Crocky, yeah, yeah, yeah. up them ways. So I've had it for years. And my lot, and I and I said to them, how can I be? I was born in the women's. <laughs> I, I, I lived. I lived on Edge Lane. That's why I've still got an L postcode. And they're like, yeah, but you live in West Ham, but I'm not from there. So my, my argument always is. I love is. how much of a thing. So it no, is. Listen, no, but listen, no, but it's even better when you're not a part of it, though, isn't it? It's so, like watching it's them so two like, argue. When it was Liam and when it was on YouTube, yeah. argue, I felt like such a fly on the wall in the conversation. But I couldn't give a fuck a about it. They were so angry. My, my argument's always <laughs> like, been, no. I'm only 15, 20 minutes yeah. from town, though. Yeah. It's, like, it's just like a little. They were arguing I mean, about how long the, the tunnel is. He was like, the yeah. tunnel's four miles yeah. long. <laughs> and we were like Googling it, he was like 2.6. And he was like, fucking yeah. My As the crow flies, I'm closer to yeah, the line. Literally, that's, what he said. <laughs> that's literally what he said. He was like, as the crow flies, yeah. Like, yeah, I, li- I live close to the city centre than you do. Oh, I, love, like, <laughs> I love the wall talk, man. Nah, my <laughs> argument's always me. been the same. Cause like, yeah, but you live in Worcester. I say, yeah, but I'm not from Worcester. In the same way, if I move from Kenny to fucking Marseille. I'm not from Marseille. I just live in France. I'm not French. But why is it such? Why 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 is it such a thing? Like, why because being it? from Liverpool, thing, feel like it? you're part of a little thing. Yeah. Everyone there is dead sound, they're cool. Which is so, why used cunts love to, like poking fun at it because <laughs> you want to be part of a thing and you just never will be. Exactly, is yeah. yeah. Don't leave me hanging, Rob. Hey, how, how strong was his first? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear strength? that thing? <laughs> what are you mistaken for there is uh, strength for knuckles. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah he's trying to take His knuckles are more more prominent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got big knuckles. Yeah, that's not strength, is it? Skinny as fuck. <laughs> when you can see a smackhead's ribs, you're not like, oh, fucking hell, he works out. He's got strong yeah. ribs. <laughs> I reckon he's strong. Thanks, Simon. <laughs> I'm wrestling now. Did, did you go to the gym? Um, nah. No, I just, I like you ever just, deadlifted anything? Um, nah. <laughs> you are weird, aren't nah. you? <laughs> First time we started the podcast, he was asking me, what can you squat? What can you deadlift? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like you are, you are, you know what? <laughs> I love you, but you're an odd bloke, though, are you? <laughs> That's what he loves, though. Danny, I don't, don't need to want do to be, this anymore. <laughs> like, you're odd enough to be yeah, considered When you called him bloke. autistic. He was like, no, I'm not. I'm just odd. He just really wants. Yeah, yeah. I never I never want to be diagnosed. No. I'm just odd. None but of that shit. you know, shit. If, if your angle is Funny wanting man. to be the odd one, it's like, what's happened to you when you were a kid? Because only if you grow up. No childhood. <laughs> That's what happened. Let's go into it. I mean, <laughs> Danny, we've already said this on yeah, the Yeah, we've had too much. We've had too much. Finished. Done. Nothing comes out. Stays in. Throw it down the, down the well. When it comes out there. after a bottle of whiskey and he cries. Yeah. Stays there and it doesn't come up. That Ooh. can't be healthy though, because there's going to be oh, one. How old do you know? How old do you know? Thirty-one. There's going to be a day at fifty when you finally got a bed, and then there's one. Finally day. got a bed. There's one day. There's He's one done day. his research. I like this. Kid. There's one day. All you have to do is throw your fish fingers in because you're coming back from a gig and you and you're starving yeah. and she hasn't done it and she's went to bed <laughs> and then you've not let anything out in fucking fifty years mm. and you go upstairs and you cave her head in when she's asleep. Because you never spoke about it with people. I don't I mean, see that future for you, mate. Don't worry it about might, it. Don't, it might don't, happen. You can't don't. ever say no. I always say this. You can't ever say no. You can never say never. So you're open to the idea of killing a woman. You can never well, say no. He's not open to the idea. <laughs> you don't he's know just what's saying. going to happen in life. Who knows? Yeah. She's Who knows? Best, she's best shot at a fucking Netflix special. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's all right. They'll get the documentary somehow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was good, though. I enjoyed that. <laughs> we done, have we? It's a good 30 minutes if I don't yeah. know what the fuck went on. <laughs> Come on, carry it now. I need to go for a piss. Go um, for a piss. Just go for a piss. Oh, no, I'll, I'll, I'll do 20. <laughs> I'll do 20. I'll do 20 more. <laughs> I've got a few bits written out that I've been yeah. um, Against everyone's wishes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I asked for this. How did, you, how did your ma feel about your... You know, I feel like I'm back in touch. <laughs> or, what's his um, name? Can we just call him? I don't want to keep calling your dad because he's not. He's Mr. Cool. Wood. How's your half fella be like Mr. Wood getting in touch? As, as my half fella. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. How does your ma feel about Mr. Wood getting in touch? But that she just was, sounds weird saying. It does, how, how does your ma feel about Mr. Wood? <laughs> uh, very indifferent. Loves him. Very what? indifferent. So I'm just not asked. Yeah, I was like 23. Yeah, so it's up to you at that point if you're going to do anything yeah. with that, innit? Yeah, but then surely, I don't know, I feel like as a parent you'd feel a bit like... Protective or sort of like, mm. 
Maybe yeah. yours would. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, he was conceding the back of a Ford. Yeah, <laughs> but we've all detective instinct we've about. all made we've all shagged in places and gone oh, yeah, fuck yeah. that never happened. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't know where I was conceived. I don't think I'd want to. Oh yeah, that's the part. That's part of my set. Yeah, like I didn't need to know. Do you know oh what right, I mean? did she tell you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, just yeah. you never like, asked why? She was like, "Well, we had no other option." I was like, "No, why have you told me?" Yeah. I didn't fucking, yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I could, that could, that could have been. Me. I'm glad you laughed at that. I used to have a joke about <laughs> that. I used to have a joke. So what about getting my mum getting concerned? No, <laughs> no about your mum getting folly than the four day, four days four <laughs> About like my father just always told me I was I was an accident or a mistake. He actually, I think he used the word mistake once. Was like, oh, I don't mean like that. Is this uh, the flowers on the? Yeah, yeah. Just like, like, oh fucking hell, do you like it? But like. So there's ten years between me, me and my little sister, or eight years between me and my little sister, and ten years between me and my little brother. And my dad had me when he was 21, and he's always just been like, "Yeah, yeah, well, you weren't planned and all that." And so then anything that ever happens to you, you're thinking, "These guns just didn't give a fuck." I'm just, I'm just here, listen, getting remember, carried along. I was for the a ride. argumentative kid, me. Yeah, a proper argumentative kid. You don't I, give that vibe at all. No, no. I'm very well rounded now. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. People have said, I've, "Well, straight of anything." But I'll take that. Um, yeah, and I, I, I remember shape. there was there was one. I knew what you meant. I was just trying to, I was just trying to get a win out of it. So long. Well. but I was arguing with my mum one day, and I was fucking like, I, like I was like, well, she was like, you're a fucking pain in the ass. Well, why did you have me then? She's like, we didn't mean to. <laughs> 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 but she, but it must have How been true. I was like fourteen, but it must have been oh, true. Yeah, I was like four. No, but it must have been true because as soon as she said it, I went. She went. Uh, so it must have been true otherwise she wouldn't have reacted yeah, like that asked, How old yeah. you there's the trauma there you go you gotta carry that with you you gotta turn it into jokes there's me fucking 20 minutes I, t- I turned into a joke sold it for 150 quid for roast pals it was sound flying but there you go but um, yeah just fucking yeah just told me when I was four it's like fucking hell how old, how old you, you got siblings yeah I've got one brother he's 19 already much more successful than I've ever been he drives. He's he's got. A, he's, he's got That's his own, the he's, he's, got his own car. he's had an haircut this year. Yeah. He's got his own car. He's just got like an apprenticeship in the NHS and that. He's doing oh, well. He's flying. He's doing well. I'm sat here, getting a lift home. <laughs> you know I mean? I've got a lift here and I'm getting a lift home. I've had two lifts today. To try and build a career. <laughs> my my my, my was, he, of, was he intended? You know. Um. Yeah. I, cause I was I was getting on the case that I never had a sibling and all my mates yeah. had siblings, so then I think that was just me half as excuse for just wanting to not pull out for a bit because it feels well <laughs> better. So he was like, yeah, yeah, I can have a brother or a sister. Oh, so, so sometimes you tell your brother, you're only here because Pull out, Pete. Oh, you're only here because I, I needed a mate. Any time he's tried to like wind me up or anything, I'm like, do you realise the only reason you exist is because of me? Yeah. And he's like, why would you show me mine? I'm like, don't, don't, don't yeah. say that on me. He always puts that on his Instagram that he calls himself the pull out king and pull out Pete. It just makes me laugh. Who, pu- who calls himself the pull out king? Nico. He, he, right. does, he MCs top secret, but he just—it yeah, always no, makes me mean. laugh when he just goes pull out Pete, or he calls himself the pull out king. I just—it just makes me laugh. I—I I was never told if I was planned or not, but I kind of worked it out with the four. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I mean? When you're half as not there, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's it, innit? Because if I was planned, it's fucking harrowing, innit? Yeah. <laughs> should we have a kid? Yeah. Well, should we go the drive? I'll do. Nice one. That one. Have you ever asked the way you parked up? No, no. I don't think I want to know that answer. Oh, <laughs> where the flow? Be... <laughs> imagine, imagine find that where you parked up and it's somewhere you like to go for a walk with your Fucking <laughs> imagine, 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 yeah. imagine if it's your favourite spot to go for a joint yeah. or something and you're just in the park and you've got the bench you sit on. Find out it's for me, would you there with your bird and your kid like, oh yeah, that's where my man is. <laughs> You'll see the stain on the tree where the rest of me went. Oh. <laughs> God. I remember going on a walk oh. to Delamere Forest once. Um, you got any siblings? No. Nah, you didn't stick well, you know, you've got two, haven't you? Well, yeah, I suppose, yeah. But, um, but yeah, um, and I, I, it was this bird I was seeing, and I used to have this thing, because I was skimmed for ages, If but like, my dogs were dead cute, and I couldn't take birds on dates. I'd say, oh, we'll take one of the dogs for a walk, and then the dog would do yeah. all the heavy lifting for idea. me. So, like, but, so this bird was like, oh, well, do you know what I'll do? I'll pick it up from yours in the car, which is embarrassing enough in itself, um, to just throw the dog in the back, and then we'll go to Delamere. I was like, Sean, so we're walking through Delamere, and we went off the track, and we were like walking with the dog through like all the trees and that. Yeah. And as we've stumbled deep enough in, there was just some kid getting his dick sucked in the woods. Nice. Boss. But you watch. Well, no, because as soon as they, as soon as, just, as, soon nu- as just nudge your bed. Uh, I'd have uh, hid. I'd have been the one hiding from them, so I could keep watching. Like <laughs> <laughs> Quick, they've seen us quick. <laughs> oh, this is like the guy was fat. That's why he had all these questions. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, and like, the, like, okay, do you and every believe it? No, it's the Gruffalo trail. It's the sound. Of <laughs> 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 Can hear the plastic the of his leather jacket moving around. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> the Gruffalo. 
Yeah, no, he, he had long curly yeah. claws. <laughs> Nobody needs. And a tiny dick with a huge pubis. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, oh, a little oh, mouse. Not on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the scariest thing in this world. You know, you're probably not. <laughs> no, yeah, I did it. You know, like, it but it, it made me fuming at the day I was on because I was like, he's getting a dick sucked in yeah. the woods. I was like, you won't even let me play fetch with my own dog. Yeah, but he's probably paid for the few. What did she think of that happening? We, oh, we thought it was hilarious. Right, and did you ever go, hmm, yeah, funny that? Yeah, mm. little not. I tried much. to throw the hint, but at the time, like, we, I, like, we, it didn't really go anywhere. We never went back to Delamere Forest. It was sort of right. tainted past that point. And, like, <laughs> I couldn't at that point because the dog was there. <laughs> and, like, I was worried that magically he comes behind me and, like, starts it licking my ass. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if it wrecks it, it's bad. If it makes it better, it's even worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're, you're in that lane now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm that yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. Did not get into that, that fuck. Ah. Maybe that's the trauma. Yeah. Maybe he didn't. You're not telling us. Maybe he did once. I do get that. I, I, I had a similar bed. thing. I went for a walk with a bird, and we like <laughs> when you're like 16, went for a walk, fucking and then knackered by the end of his round. <laughs> <laughs> Back when I was skinny, right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been years yeah. ago. <laughs> walk that way to the it it was, it was. I was 16. It was. It was 19 years ago. Put on a stone a year since. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but it turns out, it turns out I could have shagged her the whole time, and I didn't know too much of a fucking fridge that to make a move. <laughs> I've done that. Like she was fucking, she was letting me know as well the whole time, and like, and when you think back and go, oh fuck, I fucked her. Like she like, oh, like fuck, I didn't fuck her. Yeah, because like we we walking. I mean, it was me, and my mate, and two birds, and they fucking walked off, and she was like, oh, they probably they probably shagging in a bush or something. Oh, we should do that. Like ha, ah, and I'm like, fuck you, you fucking. Fuck, she wanted volume, and I was just like, I've done that. I hadn't lost my virginity, and at that point, I was just like, fucking shit. No, I think I had lost my virginity, but I was still a fridge. Just like, fucking, oh, I can't believe I just fucked that up. I've done it. I, 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 I was a proper, like, like late bloomer with birds, me. Like, I yeah. was too scared to talk to birds mm. till I was like 17, 18. And then when I was, I don't think I quite turned 16, and I'd just, I'd been to some like acting workshop or something like yeah. that. And then I got chatting to this girl here. Now, I was just thinking, she sound, yeah, yeah. Gets chatting to her, and then the in between is two had just came out, yeah. second film, and then she was <laughs> no like, way, <laughs> yeah, and then she was like, um, you had so much information to fucking words, and yeah, then, yeah, and, to then, and then and then she goes, she's like, oh, yeah. we should go and see it, yeah. So I was like, Sam, and then she's like, if you want to meet me at ours, and then we'll walk. She lived by Picton, so we should yeah. like, we can walk to the pictures from ours. Yeah. So I was like flying. So I get to be that to drop me off, but like at the end of the street, so I can at least make it look like I got a taxi. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what I mean. <laughs> and then, and then yeah, nice one, fella. Good luck with the wife and yeah. kids. Yeah. <laughs> take it easy, lad. Yeah. Five stars, yeah, five yeah. stars. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, take it easy. Um, and then, so I've, I've knocked anyway. Nah, keep that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Keep the fifty, lad. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah, so she's been like, oh, yeah, you like to tell him. Yeah, so you give you your popcorn, lad. And then, so she'd be like, oh, yeah. Hello, daddy's daddy. Don't help yourself, then. Have a good night, dude. But yeah, so fucking, she'd be like, oh, I'm just finishing getting ready. Just finishing getting ready. You can come and sit in for a minute. I was like, sir. So I went and sat in the living room. Yeah. She'd be like, oh, no, she's coming to upstairs. I was like, all right, yeah, I, talk I'm, to you while I'm, I, I'm yeah. oblivious, yeah. right? And then she was like, "So w- what time to film?" And I was like, "Oh, it's not in, it's not for like another hour or so." So like, there's no rush getting ready yeah. and that. And she's getting ready. She's picking her outfit. She's walking around with like a little fucking tongue and a bra on. Oh and my that. god, Danny! Well, I'm hell, oblivious because I'm thinking I don't want to try and move too fast and look like a weirdo. She only wants to go and see yeah. in between us. And I was like, and, who, who, and at the time, we wasn't a fan of the in between us. So How old thinking, are you both? I was 16, I think she was 17. I said she was 17. I was 16. <laughs> get these dates, get these dates, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And then, and then I was like, 18, yeah. she was what? 11. I was 16, <laughs> she was for, for, for <laughs> 27. 17. She was old enough, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, she, she, was she, she was five. We were old enough. <laughs> <laughs> she was puban. Okay, she was puban. Combine me with 30, yeah. that's all that matters. It was just two people having one wank. Right. So she's been like, that's mad that but no, she's but in she, a, just she said to me, she's literally said, Oh, my mum's not in. If you want to fuck, fuck all that, we can just chill here. And I was like, Oh, no, we've booked the tickets now. We may as well oh, go. Oh, my God. And I, and we, my dad's paying for the tickets now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he did. He did. He's just dropped He'll me off. He'll be in the cinema <laughs> waiting yeah. to make sure we turn up. <laughs> He's got me jacket waiting for me and that. It's freezing, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> And I was like, nah, we've already bought the tickets, we've got the pictures. The only thing oh. is your jacket. And then fucking, and then yeah, and then after it, 
Oh, mate. So she, I can't... The, the bit that I have trouble computing there is the fact she's walking around with a batty out yeah. and everything. But at the yeah. time, I'm thinking... Mad, mad she thing. hasn't said to me, I, I want to have sort of, I sort of get it. Because, like, at some point, you're a bit like... I wish she'd make a move. And you're exactly like, she's there with a fucking ass out. If, I, if, like, I, if yeah, that was I now, that's a move. That, if that you know. was now, I'd know. Gally that's the, the move. Yeah. But at the time, this is the closest proximity. Yeah. I had a beam in the beard on my own. Yeah. So I'm thinking, right. she must just be having trouble picking an outfit. Yeah. yeah. That was in my head. I was a dead innocent kid, me. Yeah. Because I'd be like that, moving up the bed and seeing if she moves more towards me. Yeah, well. exactly. I'm sorry. Doing all this on the bed yeah. post. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't ever even. Been in that position at 16 because I was just such a fucking... So yeah, scared. Not, yeah, no, yeah. Do you know what? I was, I I was not a cool 16-year-old, though. I did acting. So fair play for you yeah. to get into the bedroom in the, in the undies. <laughs> I counted that. I, I that's, counted that as that, something. That's fourth yeah. base. Where was his concern? That, that, yeah, yeah. That, that was, He's that, got that in the house. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Listen, listen, a conversation um, for me was doing good at that point. Like, how many like, times have you wanked about that now, though? Well, that, I mean, not recently, not for a few years, but I had yeah. the time. No, that was like... That was there. That, that was, was up there, wasn't yeah. it? I saw that six. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. it for me. That. Every, every, time, every time his dad was okay. cooking, yeah. I had to go upstairs for two minutes. To, to have you spe- have you I've wanted about more times. No, I've almost no. had sex than I, the times I've had sex. Yeah, I, like I, over the years, I don't, I, like what, like once a year for the next few years, I'd like drop on a message, you know, as it became more yeah. like more sexually aware. And I'd be like, oh, she was clearly Is interested. it on now? No, not no. now. Got a bed now, you think? Yeah, I've got a bed now, anyway. But like, even if I didn't have it, wouldn't be because I think right. she's gonna think he's a fucking divvy. And he's not coming anywhere yeah. near my That'd house be again. Cute, wouldn't it? Just go, oh, I remember yeah, that, I, uh, I think I think you could get back in with that going fucking hell. Remember how much of a divvy I was at sixteen, yeah. and then she go, oh, that yeah. one now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get to ours. Yeah, look, I've got a podcast now. <laughs> yeah. and but no, like, yeah, why don't you come around to ours and I'll be yeah, me yeah, undies yeah, this yeah. time? <laughs> yeah, like, what should I wear? Should we fuck the film off or what? But no, yeah, it was like that was how unaware I was. Oh, like she was like she she couldn't have made it any more obvious. And yeah. I was just there going, I wonder what Will does this time. Yeah, the silly I, goose. I honestly think I, I, I was like that. Unless a bird grabbed me, then like I was just like, oh, I wonder if we should make a move. Literally, I was thinking, oh, she's I, I think I was so scared of a bird f- me making a move and a bird going, what the fuck are you doing? That's what it was. Then, I didn't want to be the one to initiate it. Like, oh, yeah. See the in between us. Right. I had a dead similar story to what everything you just said mm-hmm. when I was like fucking. 22. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was last month. Um, <laughs> my dad didn't drop me off. Yeah, we moved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but a similar thing to what you're saying, I was yeah, like, so we bought a house to the for a year. And then, <laughs> and then I was thinking, maybe she wants a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like 16. And uh, same exact thing. It was New Year's Day. And, uh, Interesting. I w- uh, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> I wonder what was her resolution. Interesting. <laughs> Shag more yeah. gimps. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so Give more lads a chance. Yeah. We went to see Paranormal Activity, and uh, <laughs> like you do, I just wanted to go and see it. And uh, this girl, I, 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 I genuinely just wanted to go and see that movie. Right. I didn't care about <laughs> it. I just wanted to go and right. see that film. Yeah. And, and you know this date. is true, because it came out on New Year's yeah. Day, and what I was film was it? Sorry, I missed Paranormal Activity. Activity. It's a first date or something, or what? No, so this is it. I just wanted to go and see the movie. I had no interest in this girl. She had no interest in me as far as I knew. I had no, we How weren't did you know each other? Me. I just knew her. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just, like, from school or whatever. Just yeah. on Facebook or something. Anyone going to see Paranormal Activity? <laughs> she was no, just fucking... It was BBM yeah. days. So oh, you just right. fucking yeah. message a couple yeah. of people and you're like, are yeah, you free right, tonight? Yeah. But she stayed at a fucking uh, house party that night. The night before, rather, on yeah. New Year's Bad Eve. Yell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So she stayed at a house party. <laughs> she got a taxi to where the cinema was. And then she was like, there's going to be no buses running. And taxis are fucking well expensive. So I can't, I'm like, I'll stay at yours. And I was like, yeah, sweet. Straight away, not even like clicking onto anything. I was like, you just stay in the Oh, me, straight Life's away. Good. I'll Everything's have the couch, you get my bed. No, 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 just like straight away. I'm thinking, not as, at that age, I wouldn't be thinking. But now I'm thinking daddy issues. Where's her parents in this? Mm. Spending well, two nights out on the bounce like that. Yeah, it's New Year's dope. Day as well. Daddy that's issues going on. Don't worry about that. It's she right. would have been fired right. as well. Fuck on the bridge. <laughs> Come on, what happened? So. so I just went to see the movie and we sat there and she goes, this movie is well fucking scary, you know. We might have to, uh, we might have to stay in the fanny. same bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, she does a finger. You, might have, to, <laughs> you <laughs> might have to fuck off with the uh, with the spare room. So I yeah. was like, yeah, sure, whatever you want. Like still just like oh fucking grouched in fucking in this demon watching the door, see if it fucking moves and that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, shh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Waiting for the spirit to make a move while she is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she's fucking obviously bored of this movie. And she yeah. goes, uh, what, what are we going to do when we get back? And I was like, fuck no. And she was like, well, you've got any films there? I said, yeah, I've got a few DVDs. Obviously going back fucking 10 years. Got and she goes, I've got a few DVDs. Got a few uh, she went, what have you got? And I started and listening. Some black ones and one, the of them, one of them was Friends with Benefits. And yeah. she goes, oh, we can't watch Friends with Benefits because I just get dead horny when I watch that. And I was yeah. like, 
wonder what I'm watching when we get in. Uh, you <laughs> can't just, watch that, that's sort of limits. Yeah, 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 I'm still engrossed in this film and I'm suddenly I'm not interested in the film anymore. But I, different to you, I actually got what the vibe she was giving and everything was fine. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so eventually you got there. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I but like, I, it wasn't even a date or anything. It Like, complete fucking... I just wanted to watch man, this movie. Man like Aaron, hey, yeah. Al, 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 when I, when I, when I, went out for a little innocent watch of Paranormal Activity and ended up Ended up getting his bollocks. Yeah. Ended up getting his bollocks where it is, right, love? Yeah, yeah. So I'm to think, though, she probably smashed someone New Year's Eve as well. Yeah. You asked. I hadn't got showered and all I'm not, I'm not would asked, asked? you sh- yeah, yeah, I would be. Yeah. You'd be bothered about that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Big yeah. Bobby T. Don't want to be fucking going down on someone else's jizz, do I? I, I don't know. think that's how it works. You can't you can't yeah, you can't does. be it is. drinking it is. someone else's mullet Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I'm totally in agreement with that. But if it's still in you after twenty three hours. There's a problem there, isn't there? That's more your issue than mine. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just saying, like, like, uh, she's status. She's not showered since the last shag. That's all I'm assuming. Good girl. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you don't. Sometimes you don't want them to shower, do you? You know what I mean? Sometimes it's a bit horrible and you go, yes. 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 thank you, girl. <laughs> I was also 16. Get that musk, baby. baby. Who's ass? No, I, know. I was just thrilled. Do you know what I mean, though? Like, I, know, I know what you're saying now. I'm I'm half, I'm, I'll half agree now. Like, he's yeah. got to, come on. Like well, fuck I'll just have sex any, any other time. I'll leave that. Yeah. But when you're 16, you're like, this might not happen again. No, no. I'm fucking thrilled that it's happening. I wouldn't have questioned it at all. Yeah. Nah, he was a f- like he was a fucking. Why do you have sticky tits? Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, honestly, that I you was. Eh? I was <laughs> <laughs> it was I the was popcorn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I spilt my ice blast. Yeah, yeah. ice blast went all down. Takes two to tangle ice blast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I was a, I was a gimp when I was a kid. Two to tangle blast. Even 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 the first the first beer I ever got. I only got it by, like, like so I, I started college, and I knew it before college. Yeah. Um, Because I was doing an acting course, so I like, had seen it. Like, Wait, you should have said. You've done, like, little bits of... <laughs> I have. Um, you, you've done little bits, like, of, like, like, little plays and whatever before. Mm. And um, and then, so she was in my class in college, and she just split up with a fella, and I put up a fancy there. So I was like, right, look, lad, I was thinking, like, you're turning 18 in two months, and you've never even so much as licked a nipple. You know what I mean? I was thinking, you, you, you've, oh. you've, you've got to play the emotional game here, you know what I mean? <laughs> so Sounds I like a, you don't even know your dad. I know, I know, me and you. Not licked a nipple yet. Um, <laughs> We're going to be best mates after this. Podcast. I know. <laughs> and, then, and then eventually ended up fucking, and then, I, she, to be fair, I think the first time she slept with me, it was out of sympathy because it was on my 18th birthday and I was still a virgin. She was like, oh, yeah. then. Yeah, but you'll take <laughs> it, right, won't that. you? Yeah. At 18, That's you're like, yeah. sympathy, I'm not out. All day. I'm feeling sympathy for myself. I'll take it. Yeah, uh, look, uh, we're both oh, crying man, after I'd this game. Till the twenties, I think. Oh, did you really? Yeah. yeah, I think so. Twenties. Yeah, you're still like a good looking yeah, fella yeah, now, yeah. though. So were you, you, were you a gun? gun like, saving like, myself, mate. Saving, <laughs> saving <laughs> myself for the right whore. <laughs> <laughs> is that what the trauma is? You won't let out. Yeah, because that's part of it. You were molested as a child, and that's why you didn't want to go near a woman because it'd bring it back. You got molested, molested, didn't you? I don't think you anyway. You always go way too dark. You remember. might have just not been good with women. Nah, but you're like, no, nah, nah. you were raped as a child. <laughs> I'm just trying to help him out. I don't want him to cave his future beard there then when she's a kid. <laughs> I've got a beard now. Yeah, but for how long is that going to last? Yeah, true, that. <laughs> true that, Danny. So I'm just trying to help. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. my dad would tell you you've got too much to say for yourself. <laughs> 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 and he'd be right about you. Probably would be, to be fair. <laughs> I feel quite cool now since I, was, I lost my V's at 16. I think we I did a lot was, between I was, 16 and 18. Yeah, we've established yeah, that, haven't we? Yeah. 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 Right, you, you, oh, he's lived thing. a life. His 15 to 18 was chaos, Danny. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. chaos. Yeah, yeah. You just out there, you just out there, and you're taking anything. Well, I've been, I've been yeah. my wife since I was 18. Every story, so every tells story you, like, starts the podcast. Goes, it with, when I was in college yeah. before I was eighteen, yeah. <laughs> it's just like it's like last does, Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> last Tuesday well, in college when out. I was eighteen. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's in the back of my taxi when I was yeah. sixteen. <laughs> no, I did. I did, I did have a good a, a good eighteen months. I went. I went wild. Like, eighteen 16. months. Eighteen months is a thing in your life, isn't it? <laughs> What's you the master anything in eighteen months? He had a good eighteen months between the age of sixteen and eighteen. My, mine was shocking. You know, I've never not had a long term girlfriend. Really, no. So obviously, what we were talking about in the car, I lost my virginity when I was fifteen, but then yeah. I was with her for like eight months or whatever. I know it's not long, yeah. but then after it's that, longer fifteen though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. of course. That's fucking. You're married, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, and then I got with my girlfriend after that when I was seventeen. We were together four and a half years, and then I had eight months before I met Beth. 
And the eight months was fun. How long are you on a Beth now? Three years, three and a half years. Yeah, four years. That already. Yeah, but quick, we're like broke, man. We're broke. Man moves quick. Well, we mm. weren't going to. To be fair, like we did, the plan was, both of us were genuinely gonna go and get a place of our own. So have you then, have you ever lived? Did you live with Beth? We bought a house. Yeah, so that's that's what changed everything because we were going to get our own place, both going to get a flat separate. Are you bored? Are you sorry, mate? Um, <laughs> so what are we so who are you, me dad? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> he promised you twenty minutes. He's hit twenty minutes. <laughs> it's fair enough. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, we just fucking moved in together during lockdown. Um, Reading three man and ours. Yeah, yeah. And everything was sound and lockdown. A lot of shit happened in lockdown. Right. And that was as stressful as life's ever going to be. I can imagine, you know I mean? yeah, yeah. So we were just like, it's, we've literally been so sound. Yeah. We can't afford a place on our own. That's that's what sinks it as well. Like, we very quickly realised we couldn't afford... Like, that's the fucking fair, mortgage bro. lenders would have given me about 14 <laughs> grand. Yeah, yeah. What am I buying for 20 grand, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? So it's like, we had no other options, really. And as soon as we combine our incomes, you fucking... Everything opens up. So you, yeah. I said, I've said this before, like, <laughs> all you're going to have is loads of couples in 15 years that didn't... They weren't made for each other at all, <laughs> but they just a needed a house. Yeah, and they spend they spend Come on, enough time until through. they can sell the house and make a profit. And then they just fuck off. It's gonna be some horrible <laughs> divorce shittings in a few years, though, isn't it? Where only one of them gets the dog off the house, and the other. I know. One if you, I, I know. Skins. I know people who've had to stay mates with their ex because they bought a house and then in neg- negative equity, and they're like, oh "We've got to wait God. till we don't. Owe. We've got to wait till we have some equity in this house so we can just sell it and leave each other alone." That's all. But they're like that. joint landlords, just like fucking in business together, and they fucking hate each other. But just because there's no negative equity in the house, they're like, "Oh, I can't do it." That's horrible. Like you can't even buy them out because like, well, what's going to give you money? Yeah, horrible. Scatty situations. One of my mates there. is uh, he split up with his missus, and he was always that guy who was like, oh, why, why are you still living at your mum's? Just buy a house after receiving 30 grand from his mum and dad. You know yeah. I'm like, one of them, bell- I f- honestly, I don't Got even speak to him anymore. I fucking hated that. this lad. And then his missus uh, cheated on him, fucked off. Yeah. And he just bought her out of the house. It went like a week because his mum, he just went to his mum and dad and was like, her ass, 30 grand, can I get another 30? And now he's living in this house. Mate, honestly, oh, no. for, uh, people like that. I hate him. How you doing, mate? You all right? <laughs> mince pie, anyone? No, I'm all good, mate. Yeah. Yeah. What's off you want, actually? I've never actually tried a mince pie. Have you not? Sure you had no. I had one oh, recently, God. and it, but it wasn't like... Uh, yeah, never it was like pie. apple, apple, apple mince pie or some shit. I don't fucking know. I like little, app, the little Mr. Kipling apple pie. Yeah. I think I'd be into that. Yeah. I'm I'm really to try one. where they open. <laughs> What's in them? Like, what's in a mince I, pie? Genuinely, I was talking to... raisins and... I was talking to Beth about this. The marketing ah. of mince pies is shocking because I hear mince and I think spaghetti bolognese and I think that's going to be grim. Yeah, yeah, and it was yeah. the same with mince, the, the, same like with the Chinese. Mince. Yeah, they call it seaweed. Because you're dragged up, isn't it? Well, exactly, yeah. But they call it seaweed in the Chinese pie. and it's actually China? sound, but I didn't... I didn't what what, it what is seaweed in the Chinese? It's just cabbage, isn't it? Yeah. I, I, every year, even though I don't like mince pies, I look forward to Paul Smith's mince pie cast. Yeah. I've got no knowledge on what a good mince pie is, but... You watch it anyway. I I know I know the parameters, and I'm so far I've seen a good fill into pastry ratio. I like more pastry than filling. Yeah, I, I, like, I hate the mince. Mince, I, I like, mince pie. Oh, I hate the insides. Horrible. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I, I eat like fucking shitloads of them. I love pastry that much. I'm a pastry fan, me. You know, I love it. I fucking yeah. Go fucking I love everywhere. it so much. I hate the. Oh, I fuck this mince pie. Have you? Can I get it out the fucking little tin thing, and now it's going everywhere. What you want to do is peel peel the rim down a bit. And then just give it a little squeeze just and a twist. The bottom. Yeah. Professor <laughs> pies over it. There you go. You <laughs> treat it like a lady, Danny. <laughs> It'll be firm but fair. <laughs> Ignore it for two <laughs> years and then regret it. <laughs> Ask your dad to open it for you. Ask your dad to give you the lift. <laughs> Ask your dad to eat it and tell you what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> so, so is the end Solid, then. Right it's on, then. then. Because they've got a lot more pastry than they have filling, so it's delicious. I don't like the smell of you it. You finish first, have you? That's a surprise. <laughs> I, left, oh, I, I, always, I wasn't. I wasn't the one who's too much of an idiot to open tin foil. Nice. <laughs> He's never had one. I'm excited. Know, we all excited for him. But if I don't like it, we're going to spit this bin there. So like, like someone watches like Step Brothers or Anchorman. Just pretend them. it's something nice. Yeah. Why? Why would you spit it out if you don't like it? Just, just fucking swallow it and well, be then fine. I'd rather. All right, Aaron. Right. <laughs> Very now. toxic of you, that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think he was doing a Bush Tucker trial with the hesitation, yeah. wouldn't you? <laughs> I like some. It's actually not bad. Do you want another one? Nah. I'll have another one. Do you want I one? finish the one he's got. I'll yeah. have another one after this, so I don't I yeah, want to. Let's, let's wrap up. Right. 
Are we done, are we? Yeah. That's actually, it's got like a bit of a... dad wishes he did that. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually all right, that, you know. Consider me a mince pie fan. Well, this one's M&S. M&S does go. Nah, well, it's, yeah, been said, quite, it's been quite balanced. L37, soon. gang, gang. <laughs> I've, uh, any, no other mince pies will do, no. I can't yeah, be getting yeah. them from Greg's or the Asda North. I've had an M&S one to start Aldi off with. Aldi ones are nice. Common Way close to a good one as well. Aldi, 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 one, Aldi ones are nice. It's been a very balanced episode, this. Mm. I feel like at, 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 <laughs> at, at one point or another, we've all been a victim throughout yeah. the episode. Think for yourself, I've been nothing but a gangster on this episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've all shared trauma. You've got mince pie crumbs on your dick, Rob. No, I haven't. Sound? I don't mince, I just looked. I don't know why I was looking, but I was seeing a mince pie crumb on your dick. Something for the ladies, innit? What are you looking at that for? <laughs> They're actually really nice. I wouldn't. I wouldn't ever give you nothing that wasn't nice. I've just always because I don't. I'm not a big raisin guy. I was thinking if, if the raisin, man. I don't mind the chocolate <laughs> ones. But I was thinking like if the primary source of flavour is coming chocolate from a, ones, coming from chocolate a, covered ones. Yeah. You've had malt loaf. No, me half loves it. I can't stand it. I fucking love Dad loves it. He, get, put, he puts loads of butter on it. Yeah. Oh, he sounds like an all right fella. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, my half dad is like your dad. Oh, he puts butter on his mouth. Oh, yeah. Stop it now. Little cuss on him. Yeah, he's supportive. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Yeah. Oh, man ever, my half fella, lads. Worked as a taxi taking you to the cinema. He's a good guy. Honestly, he's a fucking cool guy, me dad, man. Sick, man. Wish I had support of half fella. Come. You get on well with both of them, yeah. Uh, yeah, sound though. Well, I mean, as far as I got on with them, whether or not they like me back equally, I don't know. They probably talk about me in private, but mm, yeah, yeah there's as far as I know, probably some things good. where you've let them down, but that's just standard. I'm a com- I'm a comedian for a start, like. Yeah, something's gone wrong. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gone wrong. depends who you asked, doesn't it? <laughs> 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 Jess at the frog, see yeah. what she says. Yeah. <laughs> I should say you're a comedian, just a very racist one, apparently. <laughs> well, we've what a way to end. Find our Come niche. full circle, aren't we? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> oh, right, so Aaron, where can we find you? Uh, Aaron Wood Comedy on absolutely everything uh, and spread negative news. Our new social media form. Oh. Huh? <laughs> shit joke. Shut the fuck up. What'd you say? That was hey, awful. Shut your czar podcast. Just make <laughs> we find you. That was Hold me. on, I wasn't uh, done. He hasn't finished promoting spread negativity uh, yet. <laughs> you stamped all over it. Don't be fucking nasty. I made a joke and it was shit. Yeah, if you want to hear less shit jokes, listen to spread negative. Um, <laughs> no, you'd get worse. Mm, okay. You'd get worse. Wait, <laughs> wait. Like jokes um, anyway. They're shit. <laughs> you what? Jokes are shit. <laughs> well, like Kyle Legacy. You are right. <laughs> <mate. laughs> Started dressing like him as well. We've had too many. We've had too much on now. We need, yeah. to, we need to get some Southerners on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, spread negativity pod everywhere. Uh, everywhere you get your podcasts and on YouTube and all that good stuff. It's dead good. Check it out. Sweet. Hi. Danny? Um, Danny Davies, comedian on Instagram. Um, and then I didn't have enough characters for Twitter, so it's just Danny D, comedian. And... The What's Happening podcast on all platforms. Yeah, Danny D, yeah. comedian. You don't want to find the other one, do you? Uh, yeah. No, no, no. Who's the other one? Danny porn D, the star. porn star. Oh, you find the porn cast or Danny D? Yeah. yeah. Big, big schlong. Me and him are... Mate, it's absolutely packing stonking. Heat. Well, I don't know if I'm packing heat or I'm just skinny. Skinny guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah Get fat and then come back don't to Don't like you skinny cunts, because like, you always look like you're packing heat. And, and like, even if, even if oh, I'm Danny not... Danny D's that as well. Like, even if, I, even yeah, if you're only packing yeah, like a five, yeah, you're yeah. getting every millimetre of the Straight to the base, innit? You know what I mean? You're getting all of it. We almost had a hole from the end in there. Straight to the base with Danny D. Me and you should eat a mince pie and watch Danny D together. Wearing only your leather jacket between us. Action video to Danny D videos. New Patreon special. You get him on your pod. You get Danny D on your pod. I'll ask him. I'll ask him. I'll be like, look, we've got a lot of... Comments, really penis. Uh, but no, thanks for having me on. Appreciate thanks it. for having us. Oh, I was going to get back into it then, but we've done it now. Oh, we're yeah, done now. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, sign up thank to the Patreon. Sign uh, to the Patreon. Don't pay for pine nuts. Yeah. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, have a good Christmas if you don't want to listen to any more. <laughs> 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 to Christmas. <laughs>